Hello, hello, and welcome everybody. Today is Gaming Friday, and we are going to continue our longest journey. So, um, yeah, this is our second stream playing this game. Uh, let's get started. <coughs> So yeah, last time we, well, let's load into the game, because we do have a diary in the game that we can refer to to refresh our memory. So April's diary. So yeah, uh, basically what we were doing is um, we had some weird nightmares about some other world and uh, after a while these nightmares um, started to appear in reality. Um, and uh, yeah, it's not only April, our, uh, our, uh, how do you say it? Oh my god, English, please. Um, not our main character, but other people also. Um, so these, like, weird creatures and pieces of the other, wo other world. Um, but yeah, uh, let's start from the beginning, I guess. So yeah, April, uh, basically as soon as she turned 18, she ran away from um, her family into a different city. She uh, managed to get accepted to a art academy. And she was living in um, like a hotel with a bunch of other people. Uh, right. So yeah, this is where we started. Um, yeah, she woke up because of a nightmare, she she saw some dragon and tree spirits and stuff like that. And yeah, uh, um, that day uh, in her world, in her like real world to her, uh, she spoke to, what was the name of the guy? Cortez, where was it? Mm, yeah, this font is really hard to read. Buffy Pink Rabbits. Where is the Cortez part? Yeah, this is the Cortez part. Hello, Nina san. Uh, oh my god, keyboard. Hello. So, yeah, uh, we just loaded into the game and we are trying to refresh our memory. Uh, so, yeah, basically, April. Uh, had some dreams, some nightmares about another world, and those nightmares started to become a uh, reality. Um, where is the Cortez part again? 
Yeah, so this is the Cortez part. <clears throat> okay, so I'm like on my way to school. I'm half asleep. I'm not. I, I'm hot. The weather has been unbearable these past few days, to say at least, to say the least. Um, and I just want to get to the studio as soon as possible. And then this guy Cortez. Uh, who's sitting outside the house like he does every single day calls me over fine okay I get nothing against the guy personally um, I'm, I make small talk about the weather just trying to get over with and then he, how would he know that I've been having nightmares unless Emma or Charles or Fiona told him and I no, they wouldn't have. Um, how could he know? And I know he's nuts, but to think that I have some kind of destiny. The guy has been doing too many... I'm not sure what is this the world, the, the word. Raptors, I don't know. Or whatever. Uh, People picked that then he was double it. So yeah, basically Cortez told her that yeah, she's she's she she's having some nightmares, that she's starting to see something, and yeah, he actually told her that she would uh she would be interested to see him again that day. Um, yeah, she saw something uh, appear uh, out of the Emma sculpture, again another sighting or something like that. Yeah, she started seeing things. And yeah, I think maybe, and I hate to say this, I think maybe I get attacked to this Cortez guy after all, because he did say something about my nightmares coming to life. Okay, I know I'm going crazy. Um, yeah, then she was working that day in the evening. She did speak to Cortez again about this, uh, these sightings. And yeah, I don't really remember what he said. Turns out that where kids visualize their dreams is an exhibition called Growing Pains um, at the Roma Gallery. Uh, that's done by the Watertown Bridge. Uh, in West Venice. Uh, too far to walk, I have to take the subway. It's an exhibition of work by inner city kids. And I guess the theme is dreams, which by some strange twist of fate is what everything about today. So the Roma Gallery it is. Yeah, she did go to the Roma Gallery to speak to, to, speak to Cortez. Still Friday, this is a busy day for uh, Dear Diary, uh, a busy and weird day, late afternoon. Cortez is, how shall, I, how shall I put this nicely, completely and totally out there. I mean, uh, it goes on and on about the truth of art, and then it turns out that that's not the reason he wanted to talk to me, uh, but does he tell me why it's so urgent to see each other? No. He says that I'll have to wait until tomorrow. Right, yeah, as if. 
Uh, there is something strange going on. I know that, um, and it's obvious that it isn't me losing touch with reality. Why would Cortez be involved in, if that's the case? Um, so what the hell is happening? And does Cortez actually have answers? If so, I so uh, don't want to hook up with the guy again. Uh, he freaks me out big time. But I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking, I do I have a choice? Do I? <clears throat> In a few hundred years, when my great grandchildren, um, oh my god, what is the word again? Manage, no, I don't know. Basically, go through the attic and find this book. They're probably gonna have a ball. Um, I'm not even sure if I want to write about what happened. Uh, last night because chances are I will never forget ever and future gener generations will likely be better off not knowing but I'm 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 sure now that whatever is going on it's not just in my head it's in everybody's head last night was proof positive of what of that uh, which begs the question the things I've seen, my dreams, um, what's real and what's not. I'm afraid the only person who might be able to answer that question is Cortez. How's that uh, for irony? Um, that in order to prove to myself that I'm not going mad, I have to talk to the one person I'm sure is totally insane. Uh, what a great way to start the weekend. Um, I made myself one solemn promise regarding this diary. Um, on the day I first... Uh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually had to agree to uh, go out with Zach. Uh, who is an asshole, basically, uh, to find out where uh, we can find Cortez. So this is what this entry is about. Yeah, it's so humiliating. According to Zach, I can find Cortez uptown, right of Metro Circle, at a novel theater called Mercury Theater. Oh, movil, movie theater called Mercury Theater. Um, even I know that's an Arson Wells reference. Um, it makes sense because I remember him saying something about old movies yesterday morning. Um, I'll have to catch the subway to get there. Uh, oh, I can't wait. I so love, I so love Metro Circle, the prostitutes, the drug dealers, the the composing garbage, the tourists, oh yeah, sweet. Note to self, next time you promise to go on a date with Zach, uh, bring something along, bring somebody along uh, to put a bullet through your head. So yeah. Um, and yeah, basically this is our next entry, I guess. We did find uh, Cortez, we did speak to him, um, and yeah, basically he opened a portal to another world and told us to meet with Brian something, if I remember correctly. Uh, and yeah, we woke up basically in completely different world. So, in Arcadia, uh, it's still Saturday. Is it still Saturday? Do they even have Saturdays here? Um, and why am I not... Why am I not screaming and 
Oh my god, this font. I don't know what this is, what world, what world is this? And tearing my hair out, so... Tearing my hair out... When I obviously should be. Uh, when confronted with the impossible... Um, it's your mind... Isn't your mind supposed to just snap? Perhaps because I've had so many vivid dreams about... Okay, now I don't even know if dreams uh, is the right wor word anymore. Visions, perhaps, or even better, premonitions. Um, that's, that's in keeping... What? That's in keeping with the theme of this place, magic. Oh yeah, magic. Apparently I'm simply supposed to accept without question that magic does exist, which is impossible, but clearly not impossible enough, because here there is magic, whenever here is. I've written more on the next page. Still in the face of all this strangeness, I feel normal. Uh, for some weird, inexplicable reason, and even though I've still to wrap my head around the concept, accept this place. It feels comf comfort no, comfortingly familiar uh, in a distant, hazy way. And even though I want to go home, like right now, I'm not panicky. Uh, not at all, just a little bit. Oh, and I should write uh, write that name down before I forget it. Brian, uh, Brian Westhouse. Uh, that's the last thing Cortez told me uh, to visit Brian Westhouse whenever I wanted to go home. Uh, hello, Ekaladon. Hi. So yeah, this is where we finished last time. So where the hell are we? This is April, okay. Wait. So we basically ended up in this temple. Oh my god, this is so small. There was something under the mouse. No. Fountain. Uh, by the way, what do we have in the inventory? Yeah, right, we still have the eye from the monkey. We did use the monkey to get into the uh, the theater. Have our diary, photograph, organic plastic pin, hard candy, sticky candy, and a gold ring. Okay. So yeah, let's let's take around. Let's look around. We have the fountain. Oh, have stalls. The whole fountain's been carved in one piece from a granite-like material. Very impressive. No. Big surprise! I'm still here. Yeah, you're still here. Can I inspect the stalls? No. Okay, what else do we have? City. Stalls. Yeah, let's let's go check out nice the fountain. <clears throat> Okay, so where am I? Oh, there, okay. Bird. What a 
this sorry looking bird. Hey, you don't look too polished yourself, lady. Oops, I didn't know you could talk. Didn't look as if you could talk either. Okay. It's a talking bird. It's a talking bird. That's a particularly sleazy looking merchant. I wonder what he's selling. Uh, now let's inspect some more things. In a world without the screen, that's what passes for entertainment. And it's pretty darn good. Yeah, one thing that I didn't remember uh, is what did she say about the screen when she first saw it? Because that was not just a normal TV. She did call it screen. And she did say something about like it being connected to something, I don't remember. In a world without the screen, that's what passes for entertainment. And it's pretty darn good. My intuition tells me Maps that he sells maps. Maps. Okay. What else do we have? Marketplace? Oh, we came from the bar marketplace. Head. I wonder if that's supposed to be anybody in particular, or just any old head. It's a game of some kind. Cups it's game. It's a game of some kind. So, okay, let's, let's speak to this merchant. Want to test your skill and perception with a game of cups? There are prizes to be won! Um, what can, what I, win? can I win? Well, there's coin, of course. Double your bet or choose from a wide variety of exotic prizes. Like this antique Domari canter from Guienne. A superb replica of Mount Tyrannae cast in pure solid iron. A magic walnut from the once glorious island kingdom of Anciel. And this, um, unique bird. Unique bird. Get me out of here! Keep your beak shut, you scraggly piece of... <clears throat> and he talks! Great for feasts and for the amusement of infants. He's our top prize, a real keeper. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Time is money, so make it quick. What is Westrum Tobias? Is it the guy that we first saw when we arrived here? What do you know about Westrum Tobias? I think so. Westrum Tobias, eh? The high priest of the Sentinel himself. Did you know they call themselves the Fathers? That's a joke. When was the last time they did anything for us, the people? No. They are only interested in sticking with their outdated customs and keeping their secrets under lock. I'm getting more and more inclined to listen to these new people, the Vanguard. Their ideas appeal to me. They may be radical, but we're past due for a change. Only thing I don't wholly approve of is their alliance with the Tyrant. Filthy, dangerous people. But the Vanguard seem to have them under control, so I'm not too worried. I wish they wouldn't allow them into the city, though. Okay. How do you get along with your neighbor? The maps merchant? We've faced each other for six years now, every single day, and he never speaks a word to me except to insult me. Nose high in the sky, calls me a charlatan, as if he's the guardian himself. You know good oversized bag of wind? Do you know anything about Stark? Not much. I'm not too sure if I even believe in the place. I mean, you hear the stories and you read the books. Uh, well, I don't, but some do. A place where there's no magic, only science? 
Sounds like a bloody paradise, doesn't it? I mean, with my, um, <clears throat> skills, I could make a killing in a place like that. What's Arcadia like? What a queer question that is. What's the world like? It's big, for one, and too expensive. And they should ban Dalmari women from gambling because I swear, they have a second sight. Thanks. Now, how about a game of cups? How do I play? You put your coin down on the table. I put a cup on top of it and shuffled it around with the other two cups. And all you have to do is guess which one hides your coin. And remember, no magic used, and none allowed. This amulet right here will light up if you use magic. Then you'll be banned. For life! Okay. Can you tell me again what I can win? An antique Domari canter from Guienne, a superb cast iron replica of Mount Tyrone, a magic walnut from Anciel, and this, uh, unique talking bird. Okay, let's go. Just place your bet, <clears throat> investment, on the table and the game will begin. Um, I don't have anything. Do you want a stick of candy? <laughs> Hey. Oh, I guess not. But yeah, looks like we do need a coin to play the game. How about a game of cups today? Sorry, but I'm broke. May the balance bring coin to your pocket, young lady, so that you may return to me and waste uh, invest it in a game of cups. <laughs> and waste it in a game of cups. Okay, so we need a coin uh, to play the game. Okay, okay. Let's speak to this merchant. Maps, I got maps. maps. I interest you in a map, miss? Top notch, hand drawn in quality ink by skilled sunriders. Ain't no better in all the Northlands. How much are your maps? Uh, that depends, miss. I got a very nice one here of the Border Mountains for only six. Harrens, fresh from the quill of a Sunrider. Maps, get your maps here! Do you sell maps of the city? Can't help you there, miss. The Guild of Tourism has monopoly on city maps. I can tell you're not from around here, or you'd know that. Got tons of maps of all the Northlands, though, from the city of Tyron to the Bay of Fire. Maps! Where can I find the Guild of Tourism? They're closed for the holidays. Sure, that makes sense. Okay. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, maps! Do you know Vestrum Tobias? Everyone knows Vestrum Tobias, girl. He's been an important part of this city for as long as I can remember. What can you tell me about him? The Vestrum is an honorable man, but a conservative one. And I don't know if he still has the best interests of the people at heart. Sometimes I think he worries too much about custom. The Sentinel have been our so-called protectors and keepers of the balance for so long we don't even think of it anymore. But now that the Vanguard are introducing a new way of thinking, new philosophies, I'm afraid the Sentinel will find their power diminish before too long. Their resistance to change will be their downfall. Mark my words, their downfall for certain. And Tobias, honorable man that he is, will be remembered as the captain who went down with his ship. So we do have some opposing forces, looks like, in this world. Vanguard and Sentinels. So Sentinels are conservative, Vanguards are radical or something like that. How do you get along with your neighbor? 
Peters. The cup's handler? Stay away from him, miss. He takes great joy in robbing people's purses. You can't beat him, not without magic. And he doesn't allow magic at his table. How would he know if I did use magic? Oh, he's got one of those blasted talismans. They're always digging up magical artifacts in Chagagriel, and they sell them to dogs like him for a silver coin or two. Get a proper job, you son of a mole! What do you know about Stark? Land of wonders, strange customs, and machinery. Ah, to be in Stark. I'd give my right leg. Well, perhaps not my right leg as such. You really need two sturdy legs to stand on in this business, or you'll find yourself... Um, uh, yes, uh, a grand place indeed, free of this blasted, chaotic, unpredictable magic does no good to anyone. Now, machines built by man, controlled by man, in servitude of man, that's the future, isn't it? Yes, the Vanguard may be a little unorthodox in their methods and teachings, but they're right about one thing. Stark and Arcadia belong together, not apart. So, okay, looks like we've come from Stark world. Uh, and yeah, looks like people here are aware of that world. A world without magic with machinery and this world is full of magic or something like that what's arcadia like what can i say about a whole world girl it's a beautiful place for sure but we're stuck in the past we don't look ahead not like our cousins in stark magic is all well and good but it won't bring our world into the modern age and arcadia is untamed it's wild and unpredictable good for the map business sure but not so good for productivity and expansion no some people may consider our world a paradise the sentinel for one they prefer to keep it just the way it is me i'd like to see some changes and fast thanks for your help Maps. Maps. No maps for me today, thanks. Fair enough, miss, but don't expect me to come running to your aid if you ever get lost in Riverwood. Without my maps, you'll probably end up a mole's dinner or worse. Maps! Okay, do I have anything else here? Yeah, I don't think so. So we have merchant and the bird. Oh wait, I can go there. So let's go to the marketplace. So that was... Is it the same? Yeah, this is the same place. Uh, nice fountain. Yeah, nice fountain. We can enter the city from here. I don't see anything else. Just in case, let's go into the temple once again. Maybe we can find something there. Before we go further. Quaint. And they go with the general decor of the place. Lantern. Oil lamps. Or whatever their magical equivalent may be called. Oil lamps. Or whatever their magical equivalent may be Oil lamps. Or what... Okay. So this is... Yeah, Vestrum Tobias. Exit. Let's... It's Vestrum Tobias Grensren. Let's speak to him once again. Excuse me, Vestrum Tobias? Tobias, just call me Tobias, please. Tobias. I require no ceremony from a distinguished guest such as yourself. 
Did you enjoy the sights? I don't know. I'm... overwhelmed. Walking around out there, seeing with my own two eyes things that can't possibly exist. I kept thinking, it's all a dream. I'll wake up at any moment now and everything will return to normal. But then I realized, I'm still here. It's real. I can touch it. I can smell it. And you know what? It doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense here. Magic, alien creatures, parallel worlds. I don't believe in those things. I don't believe in fairy tales. In your world, in Stark, there is no room for magic. That is, and always has been, the curse of science. The fallibility of logic and order. They leave no room for the imagination. If it does not fit into the narrow perception of the laws of nature that your world adheres to, it's a fairy tale. But then, magic has its downsides too. It's unpredictable. It invites chaos. It puts the balance in peril in a way that science alone never could. I keep hearing about the balance, and about Stark, and Arcadia, and... This is probably gonna sound strange to you, but I'm clueless. I have no idea what this place is, or what I'm doing here, or... All I know is that something strange is happening in... In my world, I guess. I had dreams, and the dreams felt so real, and then things started happening in real life, too. Things that shouldn't... Couldn't happen, and I... I think I will begin at the very beginning. I believe that is why you were sent here. To learn, to understand, to see for yourself. Like you said, you cannot believe in this place. Well, you will. After you have learned the truth, you will. Come with me, and I will tell you the story of Earth as your books never have. And when your eyes and ears are open to the truth, Perhaps your mind will follow. We can only hope. Come. This is the true story of the balance. As observed by the Sentinel, the order of the balance, the Fathers. The Sentinel Minstrum committed this story to the pages of the scriptures, and to these temple walls thousands of years ago, so that coming generations could learn and understand their past and their future. The wall paintings we are looking at became known as the murals of the balance, and it is through these images that I will recount our common history to you, April Ryan. The story begins and ends here, with this mural. Ages ago, and in ages to come, the Earth was one, and magic and science existed side by side in nature and in all people. There was balance, and there was harmony. You're saying there was just one world then? One world, one Earth. Magic and science in balance with each other, within each and every living creature. The power to make the stars dance and to create life itself was within our grasp. But then, humankind began to exploit this divine power of two, and they saw fit to use it for their own selfish purposes. The balance of the cosmos was in peril. Unless something was done, Unless man was humbled and learned to fear the power he wrought over cosmos, the twilight of chaos would fall upon Earth. It had happened before, in distant times and on distant worlds, and it would happen again. And every man, woman, and child of every people and every race would be devoured by the coming apocalypse. We were given a visitation then. The drag kin having lived among us for untold generations, rose to offer their guidance and assistance in preserving the balance on our world. The Drag? I think I've heard that name before. Drag Kin. 
Drachen, dragons, whichever name they go by, they remain the eternal servants and custodians of the balance. There were four of them here on Earth, and of the four, one who would found the order of the balance, the Sentinel. The first Minstrum were instructed that magic and science would have to be separated before the balance collapsed and brought untold disaster. Earth would have to be split in two equal parts. Arcadia and Stark, magic and science, chaos and order. The first Sentinel were counted 13, six scientists, six magicians, and one who was between, the Drag Kin, our mentor, our custodian, our learned guide. Both magic and science were needed to perform this most difficult of tasks. To split a world in two. To create two worlds from one. Wasn't the use of that kind of power dangerous to the balance? Yes. And so for this purpose, they built a tower to channel their powers and focus them on the divide that they would create. The kin had brought a disc with them. A disc forged in the fire of their world. Placed at the base of the tower, and the epicenter of the divide, the disk and the tower would become one, a conduit for the flow of magic and science. At the appointed hour, the Thirteen came to the tower, and with them a woman, whose destiny was decided by the purpose to which she had been born. She would be the first guardian, the human protector of the balance, who would stay in the tower for a thousand years to watch over the two worlds and to ensure that the flows of magic and science were always equal. And so the ritual began. One world was to become two, separated by the balance, and each world visible to the other only by way of dreams. Who was ushered into which world was not an arbitrary choice, nor one taken lightly. For the magical creatures, the choice was simple. They had to go to Arcadia. Their kind would not survive in Stark. But for others, families were torn apart, lovers separated and friends lost for all eternity. Encircled by the Twelve and the One, and the One who would be Guardian, the disk at the base of the tower began to spin faster and faster as more and more power flowed through it until it was a blur. Darkness enveloped the tower, but the disk glowed brighter and brighter. Reality turned, and in one moment, a new reality had been created and two new worlds born. In the tower there was silence. The original disk had disappeared and in its place was a smaller counterpart, a similar yet different disk. Around and outside the tower, the world looked different. They were now between Stark and Arcadia, between reality and dream. This was the realm of the balance and of the guardian, and it would be her home for the next 1,000 years. The one who was kin picked up the disk and said, this disk is a counterpart to the original disk, which has now become this realm, and the key to which has been split and divided in four. The key is the disk, and the disk is this realm. This mystified the Twelve, and the one who was kin continued. Know only this. The Guardian's realm cannot be broken unless the disk is broken but nor can it be repaired without the disk being repaired. The four pieces that is the key will be given to the six of you who are to be taken to Arcadia for safekeeping. Yet the key will never be complete, he went on. Without the precious stones that adorn each piece, I will keep one, and my fellow kin, the three others. Should the day come when this realm must be repaired, or the worlds reunited, and that day will come. You will assemble the disk, and the kin will come together one last time. With that, 
Six of the thirteen went to Arcadia, and six to Stark, and the one who would be guardian ascended to the throne. Witness the mural, where her dreams and hopes, her very soul, were locked away in the disk. In service of the balance, these traits were nothing but barriers. Through new eyes, the imbalance between the worlds was as clear as the stars themselves to the Guardian. And with one thought, she channeled chaos from Arcadia and logic from Stark into the disk and redistributed the power wherever it was needed. A new era had begun, the era of the Guardian. After they left the tower, two of the Drakkin went to Stark, the other two to Arcadia. The six who came to each world started what is now known as the Sentinel, the Order of the Balance. But while in Arcadia the Sentinel thrived, in Stark they did not. In Stark the memories of magic and the balance could not survive in the face of the new reality of natural laws of logic and of science. And soon, very soon, Arcadia became nothing more than legend, a myth, tales of fairies to recount to impressionable children, and stories to frighten and entertain around a fire. Mm -hmm. And while dreams still brought sights and sounds of Arcadia to those asleep in Stark, they were discounted as mere dreams and nothing more. So that's it? We forgot about our past and about Arcadia? And that's the way things are? Then what's wrong with that? And why does magic from Arcadia seem to have begun leaking through to Stark? That is another long story. But I can tell that you are tired of stories, and so I shall be brief. As I told you, while in Arcadia, the Sentinel grew in numbers and in strength. In Stark, while flourishing for a brief time, they were soon diminished and powerless. Some of the Stark Sentinel did not take kindly to this, and they berated the Arcadian Sentinel for their politics and teachings. The Stark Sentinel wanted people to work towards reunification, while their brothers did not. So the inevitable soon came to pass, and the Stark Sentinel parted ways with their Arcadian brothers, and named themselves the Vanguard. Uh -huh. And while at first their philosophy was not so different from ours, over the years, it changed radically. The Vanguard wanted the Divide torn down, the worlds reunited, and the return to what they called the Glorious Ages, when humankind could control the forces of Cosmos. But first, they needed their own servant in charge of the balance, their own guardian. Now, every 1,000 years, a new guardian took the place of the old one, because no one can be separated from their souls for any longer than a thousand years. Every one thousand years, a new guardian was born. The balance provided the seed from which a new fruit grew. But now, it has been two hundred years since the previous guardian, the twelfth guardian, was to be replaced. Every new child born to the balance has been taken away by the vanguard, to be studied in an attempt to control them. In every instance so far, they have failed. But the Twelfth Guardian could wait no longer. Only a short time ago, the disk in the tower shattered, and the Guardian left his throne. The balance is now untended, and we have yet to find a new Guardian. Unless we do so, the Vanguard may get their chance. And they may be able to place their own puppet on the throne, to rule the balance according to their principles. And this we cannot allow. It will mean the end of Stark and Arcadia, and the dawn of an era of chaos. Now do you see? Yeah. I understand the history. I can even accept it. But I don't understand why I'm here and what Cortez wants with me. The balance is in peril, April. The Guardian has abandoned his tower. He has disappeared and there is no one to take his place. He must be reinstated to protect the balance until a new guardian may be found. And what can I do? I'm nobody. I've just been having a lot of bad dreams. 
You are a strong shifter. I have not seen your like in my lifetime. A shifter? Someone capable of opening doors between worlds. A shift. A portal between the realms of Stark and Arcadia. Are you kidding? I didn't do anything. Cortez was the one who opened the... shift? And he just waved his hands around in the air. I don't think I'd be capable of opening a portal even if I had a magic wand. Only a shifter's own power can allow her to travel. No one else can do this for her. Cortez only channeled your power to aid you. He would not be able to step through this shift himself. Even if that's true, I don't have any control over my... talent. Not yet. But in time you will. How else do you intend to travel back to your world? Oh no. God, I hadn't even thought about that yet. Can't you help me? I'm afraid not. Even if I could shift, I would not be able to channel through you like Cortez did. So, I'm on my own? If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. But aside from that, yes, yes you are. That's so not cool. <laughs> no, it has been unseasonably warm. If you don't mind, I will return to my studies now. Thank you for listening to an old man and his long stories. N no, thank you. It's starting to make a little bit of sense now. That is good news. Come see me again if you have any more questions. Okay. So, uh, Vanguard... Wait, what? That's April, okay. So Vanguard is... Um, how do you say it? Like the people who were supposed to be in charge of Stark. Can they go there? Unsettling to be so aware of myself all the time. Yeah, I can't go there. So this is this was my intention when I went to this um this temple. I wanted to go the other side. But okay, now at least we know some of the answers. Excuse me. Do you know a man named Brian Westhouse? Westhouse? That old goat? Yes, unfortunately. What would you with him? I need to find him. I do not know where he lives. I hear somewhere on the outskirts of the city by the sea, but I cannot tell you any more than that. Who'd know about Westhouse? His whereabouts? I do not understand what you would with him. He is rude, uncultured, and ignorant. Cortez told me to look him up. Well, I do not know where he lives or frequents, but someone at the market may. He trades merchandise there, and I think he collects maps of the Northlands. So I have to go back to the maps guy? Okay. What do you know about Cortez? Your mentor? What has he told you about himself? Nothing really. Not much. Nothing in fact. He's a complete mystery to me. To learn something about someone, the best way to go about it is to ask them yourself. There is nothing I can do to enlighten you. But who is he? He is who he is. What he is. If he has not told you himself, then perhaps he does not wish you to know. It would be improper for me to divulge his secrets. You're okay. as bad as he is. No offense. It's just frustrating. I understand. The next time you see him, tell him what you have told me. Maybe he will tell you the truth, maybe he will not. It is his choice to make. That's res respectable. How am I supposed to get back to Stark? 
The only way to get back is through a shift. You are a shifter, April, and the power to travel between worlds is within you. It might be within me, but it doesn't look like it's coming out anytime soon. I wish I could help you, but I cannot. You must find the path on your own. Ran here, watch the fiber and improve the till. <laughs> yeah, now your fiber is clean and fast, brand new. <clears throat> Do you mind if I ask you some questions about Arcadia? I will try my best to answer any question you may have, April. What's the history of Arcadia? Oh no, wait, wait, wait. There no. is so much I do not know where to begin. In truth, it would be wiser to ask someone else, unless you wish to know about the Fathers, the Balance, or Mudhoppers. Okay. Mudhoppers? My secret passion. I study them. They are a most fascinating species. Most fascinating indeed. But I am not practically versed in the intricacies of history, I am sorry to say. What is Mercuria? What's Mercuria like? I have lived in this city all my life and still it amazes ah, this is the me city. what a diverse, okay. exciting and wonderful place it is. Many have called Mercuria the jewel of the Northlands and they are right. But it is a diamond in the rough. A city this size can never be flawless. There are always shadows and people who hide in them. <clears throat> Lately the shadows have grown and darkened, and I fear for the future. But Mercuria is still a wonderful place to live. What else can you tell me about Mercuria? Mercuria is the capital of Ired, the unified country, and we are located on the southern coast of the Northlands, halfway between Tyran and Khorasan. Tyran. Between the Snapjaw and the Gaint Beast, some might call it. Between the Embers and the Fire. Yet democracy and peace have reigned for thousands of years now, and although relations may at times be strained with our Tyran neighbors, the High Council are masters of diplomacy. And Lord Igvan Delen is a firm and just chief counselor of the Iredan flag. Who are these people? Oof. Tell me a little about Ired. Ired means both unification and assembly in Haitang, and many still call Ired the unified country, even though it is an age and a half since the lands of the north joined together in alliance. Ired stretches from the plains of Nedra in the north to the Great Sea in the south, and from the territories of Tyran in the west to the thick woodlands in the east. It is populated by humans and Dolmare, Tyran and a number of other races. It is even said that a tribe of Venar have a ring of trees in Riverwood, though I am not sure that is anything but a myth. What are the Northlands? The Northlands is a collective term for all the lands north of the Great Sea, and south of the border mountains including Ired, Tyran, and Khorasan. Before, however, the word Northlands was used to describe this entire continent, including the territories north of the mountains and the icy wastes beyond that. Some still prefer the latter interpretation of the name. And to the people of the Southlands, anyone hailing from north of the Great Sea is a Northlander regardless. Thanks for the information. I'm glad I could assist you. So we need to go visit see you later. the maps guy. You will. If you say so, then it must be true. Because hopefully it uh, hopefully he will help us to find that Brian guy. Wait, wait, en wait, wait. What was that? Enormous satin drapes. Oh, okay. I thought that was something interesting, but okay. So now at least we know we inspected everything in the temple. So let's go back to the stalls and let's take a look. 
what the maps guy could tell us. Maps. I'm looking for Brian Westhouse. Briar West of House? It's not on any of my maps, and I've never heard of it. Maps. Maps. It's a man, not a place, Mr. Brian Westhouse. I would most certainly remember a name as queer as that, and I don't. Get your maps while they're fresh. Hmm. Interesting. He doesn't want to tell me. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, maps. Yes, maps. Thanks for your help. Maps. Maps. Bye. Maps. 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 Get your fresh maps here. Buy two, get the second one half price. Okay, weird. He doesn't want to tell me anything. Okay. Can I go here? No, I don't Ryan, think so. You have got to get past yourself. Okay, let's go, I guess, into the city now. So, this is the temple... Fountain... Stalls... What is this? Beast and Rhino. What the hell kind of animal is that? Can you show me? I've never seen anything like it. Can't see anything. But okay, uh, let's to the city. What if I just go around? Would that trigger anything? No, not trailer. Can I go there? Uh, I wanted to come and see how you are. I need to go and get rest. Do you need anything? Uh, hi again, Bitmajo. Good to see you. <laughs> then type in, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, glad you came by. And yeah, have some rest. So I don't think we have anything here. Just wish I could inspect the fountain and the beast. Wait, I clicked on the city. Why am I going? Ah. Going that way, okay. Uh, city gates, marketplace. So I guess we can only go to the city gates. Guard. Those guys must be part of the city watch. They look a hell of a lot more intimidating than the Newport cops, despite the lack of an exoskeleton. Stout guardians of the city. Wooden, but stout. And that blue fire is way cool. Yeah. Those guys must be part of the city watch. Okay, we have another stall here. What else? Walls. The walls look ancient. Mark Curie must be at least as old as anything back in the real... Uh, in my world. In the real world, yeah. Okay. Fish merchant, some kind of stall, okay. Let's go check out this stall. This guy's selling musical instruments. Most of these I don't even recognize. But he's got a drum in there and what looks like half a guitar and a couple of dried rabbit carcasses. Ugh. Okay. Just a guy playing on rabbit carcasses. This lady's selling fresh fish. I've never seen fish like this before. But if it's wet and has fins, fish it is. Yes, yeah, seems logical. So, which way do we go? 
Not that way, apparently. Ah, okay. This guy's selling lobsters, crabs, eels, and... What the hell is that purple thing? That is so not appetizing. So we can go to the docks. Do we have anything else? Docks. He's selling a... He's selling a... Yeah, let's go to the docks. Blue fire. It's either propane or magic. I'm guessing the latter. Why not propane? Ship. Small pier. Gallons. The size of these galleons is truly breathtaking. And there are dozens of dozens of them, not to mention a number of smaller vessels. Mercuria must be a very important and very busy port. Breathtaking. Okay. Oh, lighthouse? It's a lighthouse, much like the ones we have at home, except this one, of course, burns a blue fire. Yeah, blue fire. Can I speak to these guys? Can't even go there. Uh, so, okay, we can go to a small pier. We can go to the ship. Let's check out the small pier. It's a quaint, old-fashioned treasure chest. I wonder if there's anything exciting inside it, like doubloons or whatever they're called. I wouldn't feel too comfortable about sailing anywhere in that. It's like a toy boat for children. It's a lighthouse. The blue fire's burning bright, a safe beacon for weary sailors, and a magnet for flowery pros. Okay, so let's check out the this guy. The old man and the, uh, ocean? Looks like a lifetime at sea has left its tracks on him. And it be looking like a lifetime of shooting your mouth off be taking its toll on you. <laughs> what? Looks like a lifetime at sea has left its tracks on him. And it be looking like a lifetime of shooting your mouth off be taking its toll on you. <laughs> okay. I like this guy. Hello, old man. I got me no treasure, and I got me no map of no buried treasure. I just be an old sailor with no ship, so leave us be. That's it? Wait. Ah, it's still... doing something, okay. What are you doing? Mending nets, of course. What it look like I be doing? I'm not well versed in maritime customs. Mar what? Ah, yes, mean sea life, dear not. Ah, the smell of the salty sea, the lapping of waves on your ship, the spray of cold water on your face, plump maidens in every part. I, I tell yous, I be having stories about the sea. Care to share some of your maritime stories with me? Mar what? Ah, tales of the sea, right? Sure, sweetie, I be happy to. Now, what stories be I wanted to hear then? All of them. <laughs> Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. I, I be having plenty of tales to tell. There be the tale of me adventures in the Bakshivan Empire, if he'd be interested. It'd be a tale of grand romance. Just up your alley, be sure of it. Sure, that sounds like a fine story. 
Kaj je bakova? Aj, it be near on 50 years ago that I was a mate on a sturdy old lady called the three-legged whore. The what? What do I be saying? She was called the thrifty horse she was. Aj, that be her name. The whistle what's it? Ah, uh, you don't remember the ship's name, do you? Ah, uh, anyways, I be a young mate then, and we be anchored in Mount Herva, the grand western port of the once glorious Bakshivan Empire. I be having ship leave until the following evening, and it be me first visit to that exotic and dangerous port. So I sits out to have a look around. Now, bear in mind that Monterba be ruled by a mock. Like all large Bakshivan cities. In principle, the mock be having to report to and pay half of all taxes to the emperor in Port Altaban. But with the Bakshivan Empire having all but crumbled into pieces, The provinces do be having the power to do pretty much as they be wanting. Arr, and so I sets out on me own that day to explore the city. Now, bear in mind that all the cities of the Southlands. And that be me adventure <laughs> in the once glorious empire of Bakshiva. And that be how I meet me bird bird. How I see Dus and the romance the mock's daughter. How I be chased from Mount Herba by the mock's soldiers. And how I be the first man to walk across the desert of Shangagriel, the wastelands. And how I be getting this awful rash on. <laughs> ah, girl, you do not be sleeping, do you? Uh... What? 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 Sleeping? N no, 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 no. Just concentrating really hard. <laughs> really hard. Uh, Good story, though. Solid. Solid material. Ever considered doing a book? Aye, but the agents in Marcuria be bloodthirsty vampires with no thought but to milk your life's blood. Oh. So they take an outrageous commission, then? No. They actually be bloodthirsty vampires with a penchant for biting your neck when you ain't be looking. Okay. Huh. Uh, more maritime stories? I'd love to hear some more maritime stories. <laughs> sure, sweetie, I'd be happy to. What story you be wanting to hear now? Um, let's try once Any again. Will it be the same story or not? You want more? Damn be me wooden left ankle. I be having a great old tale to tell yous about how I be coming to have me wooden pecker. It all began... You know what? On second thought, forget about it. Okay. Ah. <laughs> What have you got in that chest? What chest? The one you're sitting on. Oh, that be no chest, girl. That be me stool. I me stool carved into the uncanny likeness of a chest. Okay, sure. But what's sure. in it? No priceless treasure, that be for sure. Nothing, nothing at all. It be empty. Sure, sure. Uh... No, really. What's in the chest? Oh, live snakes. Aye, snakes that'll bite your face off before you have time to jump. Better leave them be, then. Okay. I'm still curious about that chest. Right, right. I be telling you, curse the balance, girl. You never give up, do you? 
No. I be having no real treasure in here, like I told ye, but it be where I keep me personal articles and things I be picking up now and then on me travels. And me bed, it's where I be keeping me bed before I be losing him. I be a stupid, stupid old man. He be my best friend. I ain't nobody else around to talk to, you see, on account of him being a talking bird. Talking bird? What happened to your talking bird? I be... He cheated out of him. I, that cups handler on the marketplace, be cheating me in a full game of cups, and I be having to give me bird up to try to win me money back. And what happened? He be taking me bird when I be choosing the wrong cup. I, my best friend, taken from me. Cursed to be the balance. I be all lonesome now. The worst part is that me bird is now a prize to be won. A prize in a cups game. Beat the handler thrice and you win a prize of your choice, me poor bird. What's your bird's name? Bird. Bird. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I guess we need to bring him the bird. Called Bird. Um, but to get the bird we need a coin. I'd love to hear some more maritime stories. Sure, sweetie, I'd be happy to. What story you be wanting to hear now? Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. You want ma? Damn be me wooden left ankle. I be okay, having a great old it. tale to tell yous about how I be coming to have me wooden pecker. It all began... You know what? On second thought, forget about it. Ah. I'd better get going. Ah, yous young'uns who be always running round. Everything be so important. He's been having no time to sit down and take a breath. So go. Be not wasting your time here with me. Okay. It's just a boring old non-treasure chest. Non-treasure chest. I wouldn't feel too comfortable about sailing anywhere in that. It's like a toy boat for children. Okay. We also have this big boat. Let's go check that one out. Assorted cargo. Assorted cargo. It's a small ship or boat. I don't know the difference. Is there a difference? City. It's a small ship. Judging by his ungainly stance, I'd say he's a mariner pining for the sea. Okay, is that it? Just the bot and this guy. Okay, let's talk to the, to the guy. Ahoy there, matey! Oh no. Pardon? <laughs> Isn't that how you sailors greet each other? No. W what do you say then? Usually, hello. And if it's sunny, nice day for it. We might even try a how are you today then, if we're feeling adventurous. But never, ever, ahoy. This is valuable information. Yeah. I matey, that it be. <laughs> uh, Why aren't you out at sea? Do you see the sail on that barge over there? Yes. Is it flapping? What? Is it flapping? Is the sail flapping in the wind? Um. I guess there's no way. No. And why is that then? Because... because it's not... windy? Exactly. Well, can't you just use oars or something? Oh, what an excellent idea. Now, why didn't we think of that? Of course, 
oars. By Jaws stunted left arm, that's it. Why have we been moored to the dock for a month with our merchandise dropping in value when we could have just rowed our way to Guillen? Are you being sarcastic? No. Sarcastic? Me? <laughs> what in Jaws' name makes you think that? How long's it been since the last wind? Near a month. Oh, wow. Ever since that accursed alchemist put some kind of spell on the wind. Cursed talk. The Mojal be cursed if I know why. But it's a bloody catastrophe. I've sent some good people of mine up north to deal with him. But not one has returned. Now the A-Reed High Council speak of sending an entire army platoon to sort him out. But I'm afraid that just might piss him off. Who's this alchemist who cast a spell on the wind? I believe his name is Clax. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere up north, beyond Riverwood. Thanks for the chat. Aye. Okay. It's a small ship. So yeah, looks like there is no wind, huh? Big surprise. I'm still here. Oh, wait, how how do it's I get back? How do it's I get back? It's a small ship. I I know it's a small ship. The city? Guess. Can I go to the lighthouse? Wait. Let's ship. Oh my god. Oh, no, no. <laughs> So we have shape. I guess this is where we were. Small pier. The flame. Shape. Guess this is it. We can't go to the lighthouse. I don't think so. Uh. So yeah, I guess we go back. Okay, we need to remember that we need to get the bird, called bird, and give it to that old old man. So okay, this is docks. So where do we go? Back to the city? Wait. Uh, selling a variety of fresh. Yeah, I guess back to the city. Oh, okay. So we have pier, city gates, marketplace. Huh. Hmm. So not much we can do here, huh? Can't really go out of the city. Oh, actually, let, let me try once again real quick. So I don't think we have anything. City gates, pier. Yes, it's this thing. Assorted cargo. So this ship has a problem because w they have no wind. This guy needs the bird. He didn't say anything else. Hmm. Okay, let's try to talk to the maps guy again. Maybe, I don't know. We had to talk to everyone before it tells us something, but I don't think so. Um, or maybe we could... Hmm. So to play the game we need a coin, I guess. How do I get the coin? Let's check it out again. 
Maybe we don't need the coin. Maybe we, we could try to give something else. Let's try to speak to the maps guy again. Maps. Maps. No. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, maps. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Thanks for maps. your help. Okay, so Bye. doesn't want to tell us anything. Maps here. Buy two, get the second one half price. Okay, uh, can we give him something? Candy? No? Oops. No. So candy is not gonna work. I think I tried this candy before. No. I'm tempted to, to try the ring, but I don't want to. Yeah, it doesn't light up. Maybe this thing would interest the merchants? No. Probably I need to use the ring, but I don't want to. See, does the rain light up when I No, not really. Oh wait, it does light up on the table. Huh. Yeah, he did say about placing the, the bet on the table. I didn't check all the items to place on the table. Let's do that. Because I don't really want to use my ring. No. Okay, I guess we would have to use it. Huh. Let's talk to him again. a game of cups today okay let's go just place your bet <clears throat> investment on the table and the game will begin mm -hmm. well okay let's try it where are you going <clears throat> well, the ring is gone. Is that gold? Only valid Arcanian coin in iron and other precious metals allowed at my table, young lady. Take your worthless gold elsewhere. Gold? Worthless? Now I have heard everything. Hmm. Okay. So it doesn't want to accept our gold. Interest card. Interest. Wait, what does he say again? Doesn't say anything anymore. Okay. The gold is worthless, he needs the coins. It's a talking bird. Yeah. 
It's the traditional game of cups in which you stand no chance of ever winning. The fun part is seeing just how much you can possibly lose in one go. I wonder if that's supposed to be anybody in particular, or just any old head. Interesting. Right, we have nice a fountain. I bet there is some kind of coin in the fountain. How can we inspect it? Nice fountain. Nice fountain. Can I put this rain in the fountain? No. Hmm. Hey priest, can you give me a coin, please? I have no idea what to do. Excuse me. Who did you say I should see about West House? The map merchant at the market may know. There is one thing I must tell you, however. Few would know Westhouse by his real name. Uh huh. In the city, he is known as the Rolling Man because of his strange two wheeled vehicle. A most dreadful and dangerous contraption if I ever saw one. A wheelchair? A bicycle? Perhaps. It has a grotesque appearance, much like the Westhouse himself. Okay. Uh, I see. I'll see you later. You keep telling me so, and I do believe you. <laughs> I need to remember that. This is a nice reply. To I see. <laughs> okay, so let's go talk to the maps guy again. The Rolling Man. We need to ask him about the Rolling Man. Maps. Maps. Can you tell me where the Rolling Man lives? Maybe, maybe not. Why? Because I need to find him. Sorry, guild rules. Uh, I'm not allowed to divulge any personal information about my customers. Maps. I really need to know where the Rolling Man lives. Sorry, can't do. Please? Pretty please? Pretty please? No, 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 young lady. Don't give me that doe-eyed look. Don't. Ah, blasted be the balance. You're giving me that doe-eyed look, <laughs> aren't you? I still can't tell you, though. I got maps. I got maps. <laughs> please tell me where the Rolling Man lives. No, oh, can't do, miss. Uh, I can't divulge personal information about my customers. Hmm. Wait, this is new. You're late again! And you know what else? You're fired! Give me back the delivery list and get your sorry blue skin elsewhere! Blue skin? Hired hell. Bah! Never hire a Domari to do a human job. What are you gonna do now, without a delivery boy? And hire a new one, of course. Ah, blasted be the balance. That means I'll have to pay the damn fee to the Guild of Merchants. Damnation! Maybe I could help you out. You? How? I'm quick, honest. 
and reliable, and I've got a lot of experience in the service industry. Hmm, perhaps a female errand boy could work. <laughs> female the errand boy. Merchants don't find out. I won't tell them if you don't. Mind the pay is not much, only a single errand per delivery plus whatever tip the customer may see fit yes, to give yes, you. Yes, yes, that will do. I'll take the job, if you want me. Agreed, maybe you'll even bring in some new business. Here's the delivery list for today and your first map. It's for the captain of the White Dragon. Nebeve, I think his name is. You'll find him in the harbor. Okay. Oh, and remember to have the customer sign the delivery list. The guild are sticklers for protocol. No signature, no money, no new jobs. Bye now. Maps, fresh, detailed, life-saving maps. Okay, so we've got a map. No, delivery list. No, oh, we, we've got the map. Okay, so let's take a look at the delivery list. Oh no, this font again. Okay. Uh, one map of the Sea of Sun Sanchez to Captain Haratan Neighborway of the White dragon oh my god what, what what's going on there uh a map of chan chan get grill the wasteland uh, to to the rolling man oh 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 to the rolling man okay one map of the Northlands to be delivered to Tun Luyo at the Journeyman Inn. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is even harder to read because this is not really English. One map of the Sea of Songs to Captain Horatio Nebuchadnezzar oh of the god. White Dragon. Interesting spelling. I could make her read it. Oh my god. One map of the Sea of Songs to Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. Thank you. <laughs> could you read it before I try to do that? Shengegriel. Changangriel? Why can't these magical worlds have place names like Boston, London, or Kansas City? It's always like Loth this and Irid that. Like, cut back on the consonants already. One map of the Northlands to be delivered to Ton Lyak at the Journeyman Inn. She didn't notice the Rolling Man. A map of uh, the Wasteland to the Rolling Man. A map of uh, the Wasteland to the Rolling Man. It's okay. We can find this Rolling Man by just doing this job. One map of the Sea of Songs to Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. One map of the Northlands to be delivered to Ton Lyak at the Journeyman Inn. Okay, and we have Captain Nibelwey's map. Wait, wait, wait. Captain Nibelwey's. One map of the Sea of Songs to Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. This one, the first one. Okay. So we do the first one, then we go to the Rolling Man. The lyrics are beautiful, but you have to look closely. Lyrics? What do you mean? Is it a song? I don't understand. Uh, wait, wait. It's a map of the Sea of Songs. I was told to deliver it to Captain Horatio Nebeve. Okay, and Horatio Nebeve, I guess, is the the guy on the pier. Okay, uh, let's go. To the pier. Is this our captain? 
I need to remember to take the, the signature as well. Nice day for it. Not really, no. Not really. <laughs> Is this the white dragon? That's what the big white letters on the prow spell out. White. What do you think? White letters. I'm looking for the captain. Is he around? What would you with the captain of the white dragon? I have a delivery for him, a map from the map merchant at the temple market. Aye. I be Captain Horatio Nebave of the White Dragon, fastest vessel there ever was. Okay. Hand the map over, girl. With Jarl's blessing, the wind will return soon, and I can leave this accursed harbor for sunnier shores. Okay, let's get the map. Carry it to him. Hello, the lark. Thank you. There's an errand for your trouble. Hi. Aaron. Oh, 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 oh. We now have a coin. It's a single iron coin. Okay. And now we know his name. Okay. It's Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. How are you today, then? Like you care. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. So we've got that. One map of the Sea of Songs to Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. A map of uh, the Wasteland to the Rolling Man. One map of the Northlands to be delivered to Ton Lyak at the Journeyman Inn. Okay, so. Wait. Uh, wait, wait, no, not, not here. To the city. It's okay, we have a coin, but I guess we still need to continue with our um, delivery quest. So let's check out what the merchant would say. I'm tempted to try and play the the game first because maybe the merchant would take our coin. Now what? Let let's save. Let's save. And uh, let's talk to the merchant. I'm ready for my next job, sir. Yes, yes, good, good. Uh, did you get the captain's signature? No. I forget. No. Blasted be the balance. You're no better than that Ulan. I'm almost sorry I fired him. Get to it, girl. Don't stand around here wasting my time. Get a signature. The guild will skin me alive if my records don't hold up. Crap. I forgot about the signature. <laughs> so I guess I needed to hand over the list, the, the delivery list to the captain to get the signature. Yes. Sign this, please. What is it? I need your signature to confirm that you've received the map. Map? What map? Oh, no. The one I just gave you. Oh, uh -huh. that one. Sorry, I never put my signature on a piece of paper. Uh... <laughs> I will kill you. Why not? Brings bad luck to give a piece of yourself in that manner. A signature has untold powers. It's part of your soul. I can't sign away my soul. Mm. Who told you that signing a slip of paper is bad for your soul? I'm from Guyenne, 
and we're a spiritual people. Our souls are in balance with our bodies, and the great Mojal has taught us not to endanger this balance. Signing my name, giving a piece of myself in that manner, breeds corruption and imbalance within. And it pisses the Mojal off no end. And that's why you choose to make my life difficult? Hey, blame organized religion. Organized religion. Uh... Oh. You can't write, can you? Pardon? That's what this is all about. You can't write. Uh... So what? So what if I can't write? So what if I was born at sea and never spent more than a month ashore ever since? I still won't sign your accursed paper by Jal. Look, all you have to do is sign an X next to your name on the list. You can't trick the great Mojal. The Mojal's untrickable. That's not trickery. It's legally binding. I said no. <sighs> Is there anything I can do to get you to sign? No. Well, yes. But, no. Yes, but no. Look, Captain, I'm desperate here. I really, really need some kind of signature. Well... There's always music. What's music got to do with you signing my list? Nothing. But it distracts the Mojal. What are you talking about? Why would you need to distract the... the... Mojal? Who's the Mojal? I can't sign when there's a chance the Mojal is watching. Music distracts the Mojal. Ergo, I can sign. But doesn't that mean the Mojo is always distracted? I mean, there's always music somewhere in the world. The Mojo has an eye and an ear for every acolyte. And straying from the path can bring great wrath upon us. Granted, I know very little of the Mojo. But seriously, maybe you should look into alternative religions? Blasphemy! Besides, I only have to visit the temple once every two years, and the membership fees are quite reasonable. So, if I play some music, you'll sign? Aye. I'll give you that much. So, if I play yeah. some music, you'll sign? Aye. I'll give you that much. Okay, so we need I'll to... Be back. Play the music. I don't doubt it for a second. Uh. Oh. Ah. Okay. He's not gonna sign. I saw the music instruments vendor near the city gates. Let's see. But probably I should. Probably I would have to spend the coin to buy the music instrument. But I want to use the coin to play the gambling game. Hmm. Yeah, now the music instrument dealer is... Um, active. He's selling musical instruments. What's your, um, most affordable instrument? That's cute. The flute, right? And how much for the flute? I'm guessing that's one Aaron? Uh, crap. Let's save. So, we either spend the coin on the music instrument or we spend the coin to play the game. What should we do? I would say let's try to play the game, but yeah, let's save first. Yeah, we, we did save. So let's try to play the game. I'm really curious what's gonna happen. Probably I will just 
end up without any coins. And maybe that's gonna be a soft lock. I don't know. But let's try. Take the coin. And waste the only coin I have? I think not. Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I see. Okay, let's go buy the musical instrument. But we need to get the bird. Come on, go faster. He's selling the flute for one Aaron, I think. Let's give him the coin. I'll have the flute. That's one errand, isn't it? Boing. <laughs> Hello? Ah, okay. Giving us something. As luck would have it, I actually know how to play a flute. Not very well, but I'm sure the uh, Mojal won't mind. It's a wooden flute. That's it? This is all you can play? Okay. So let's go give it to, to the guy, I guess. Or play it for the guy. On the ship. There's the coin later in the fountain. Yeah, I... I had an idea about that, but how do we get the bird? Okay, let's first sort out this signature problem. So can we just sing for him? Or play for him? No? Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bye. Okay. So, okay, let's give him the flute. No? Wait. Wait. Should I use this then? I'm ready to play some music if uh, you're ready okay. to sign. Aye, go on. But don't stop until I'm done signing, or the Mojo will surely wreak vengeance on us both. Here you go. And don't ever ask me to sign anything ever again. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Okay, we still have the flute. Oops. We have the X. It's Captain Nebeve's, uh, signature. Yeah. I can't believe I went through all that just to get a simple X. A map of, uh, the wasteland. To the rolling man. Okay, we don't have the coin anymore. Yeah, but we have the flute. Okay. Wait, th this way to the city. Hmm. But now probably we can find out where the Brian lives.
No? I was hoping that that could do something for the bird. Okay, so the flute is useful for uh, useless for the bird. Okay, let's give this deliver list back. Assignment is a map of Shangagriel to the Rolling Man. Hold on. Did you not ask me about him earlier today? Um, uh, no, no, that hmm. wasn't me. That was somebody else. Somebody else. Sure. I should have sworn. Well, no matter. Uh, do you know how to get to the Rolling Man's house? I forget. Uh, let me explain then. Now, pay attention because this is complicated. He has chosen to live in the most inaccessible place in the city, but I guess he has his reasons. First, you head west off the marketplace on Oak until you get to a tiny little apothecary, Mrs. Cassop's Herbs and Oils, where you turn north on South Street, confusing that, for about four minutes of brisk walking. That's what? when you see a, a large grove of trees. It's a memorial to those who died in the last war with the tyrant back uh, the balance knows when. Can't see why they choose to remind us of that, where you'll turn left. That's west? No, left. That'll take you back south, but onto North Street instead. And that keeps you out of the Dalmari neighborhood. Down that way, nasty, nasty neighborhoods. Keep walking south or about, or was that north? Wait, wait, north on South Street, south on oh, North come Street, on. or the other way around. Anyway, find the Rose Bridge off uh, I Reed Avenue and cross it. There's a river? No, just a bridge. The river disappeared 500 years ago. No one knows what happened to it. After you've crossed the bridge, you'll be on the western slopes of Mercuria. And that's where West House... I mean, the Rolling Man lives. No, far from it, but you need to pass through that part of Mercuria to get to the <sighs> Rolling Man. Keep south and watch out for the livestock. They're likely to attack in that part of town. Eventually, you'll get to a large circular square. That's where they used to hold executions back when the city was civilized. <laughs> you call murder civilized? Better than locking people up for years, as any level-headed person would tell you. Our freedom cannot be curtailed. Real men choose the honor of death to the shame of incarceration. Okay. Yeah, sure you do. Circle around the square and head down Tandak for half a mile. Or should that be Parrick Lane? Yes, Parrick Lane. Head west on Parrick Lane for uh, half a mile. Then turn right at the Maiden's Honor Tavern. North again? Uh, no, west. Uh, Parrick Lane has a few twists and turns. Anyway, you should now be able to see the Ivory Tower. Is it a big tower? No, only about five feet tall, but it's ivory, straight from the coast of the Southlands, bravely cut from the drooling jaws of the gruesome Kandar. Big creature, four legs, large ears, long snout, sort of grayish in color? Yes, the horror of the Southlands. Many a brave hunter has fallen victim to its ravaging hunger. Good grief. Okay, then what? Pass by the tower to the edge of the cliff and look down. The rolling man has built his home on the cliffside. It's a wonder he's not been washed away by the storms. <laughs> I hope I got all that. Basically, go west until I hit the edge, right? Uh, yes, that would be correct. Well. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, have a map. Oops. It's a map of Shang, Chang, Gang, Schubert. Schubert. It's a map of the wastelands, and I'm supposed to deliver this to Brian Westhouse, the Rolling Man. A map of uh, the wasteland to the Rolling Man. How do I get the bird? Bird. OK, 
Okay, maybe I will get another uh, coin when I finish the errands. So I guess let's go to the rolling man. Okay, let's take a look real quick. Guess nothing here except the man. Great view. Back home, a place like this would easily set you back tens of millions. Here, it's probably free. Okay. That's probably Mr. Westhouse. Hello, Mr. Westhouse? Damn, Mason, what is it now? Oh, well, <clears throat> guess you're not, uh, you're not calling on behalf of that son of a bitch Sanya for him. Sorry, I don't know who... No, no, that's very unlikely. From what I hear, he doesn't much enjoy the company of women. Well, who in damnation are you? April Ryan, sir. Ryan? <laughs> doesn't sound very Northlandian. Are you by any chance from the coast of... Yeah, hold on. Ryan? April Ryan? <laughs> I'll be damned. You're from Stark. Apparently. Until today, I thought I was just from Earth. I had no idea there were two of them. <laughs> Takes you by surprise, doesn't it? Well, goddamn. Sit down, Miss Ryan. Let me get you a drink. And drinks himself. The liquor over here stinks to high heaven. Magic pollutes the purity of the spirit, but I keep a bottle of Glen Fittich for special occasions. Thanks for the offer, sir, but I didn't come here to have a drink. Really? I see. This isn't a social call. No, sorry. Oh, no matter. It's still a pleasant surprise to meet someone from home. <laughs> now, <clears throat> what may I do for you? So, uh, yeah, let's start with a delivery. I have a delivery for you. A delivery? When did the U.S. Postal Service start delivering mail to Arcadia? I'd be surprised. It's from the map merchant at the market. It's just a map. Oh, good. I've been waiting for you. Hmm? Hold your horses. What are you doing working for the guild? Are you planning on staying in Mercuria? I need the money. I'd strongly advise against it, Miss Ryan. Arcadia may look like a pastoral fairy tale realm, but it's not. You bleed as easily here as you do in Stark, and magic can do more damage than a gun. Hmm. I'm not planning on staying, but I had to find you. The map merchant was the only one who knew where you lived, and he wouldn't tell me. Also, I need the money. So I got him to hire me, and you were the second delivery on my list. Dear gods. Carrick and his misguided loyalty. I'll have a word with the man. Thanks for the map, though. I collect them. There's not much else to do in this godforsaken city. Can you sign my paper? Okay, maybe later. Cortez told me to look you up. He did, did he? I see. <clears throat> Who's Cortez? You don't know him? I think not. I'd certainly remember. Did, did you say Cortez? You, you wouldn't be talking about old Manny Chavez, would you? Well, he ought to be dead by now, but then, by all rights, uh, <laughs> so should I. I don't know his first name, but he calls himself Cortez. Tall fellow, mysterious and elusive, rarely answers a question with a simple yes or no. Smokes like a chimney? Aside from that bit about smoking like a chimney, it sounds exactly like Cortez. Manny. 
I'll be damned. That old crook is still around. Well, how the devil is he? He's good. Where do you know him from? Oh, my old life back in Stark. We had some exciting adventures, him and I. Actually, he's part of the reason I ended up here. I last saw him in the winter of 1934. Wait, what? But that's almost 300 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? And I'm sure he doesn't look a day older than he did back then. The handsome devil. <laughs> Well, if I'm going to accept magic in parallel worlds, I might as well accept people living 300 years. Oh, no, you misunderstand. <clears throat> I'm only 46. I arrived here about 15 years ago, but I, I left Stark in 1934. Between the worlds where you dream, time has little meaning. I was trapped, you see, for, for quite a while. For 300 years? Time went by pretty fast. It didn't seem so bad at the time, but now that you mention it, 300 years, quite disconcerting, really. Quite disconcerting. Mm -hmm. Cortez said to look you up when I wanted to go back home, to Stark. Now, why would he say that? I'm not a shifter, and I... I don't know any magic. I'm sorry, Miss Ryan, but you'd be better off asking the Sentinel Priests for assistance. Already did. They said I was on my own, that they couldn't help me. Bloody typical. Those reactionary fools wouldn't extend a hand to help a drowning man if it violated the principles of their bloody balance. But I can't think why Manny would tell you to visit me in order to shift home. It just doesn't make sense. How did you end up here in Mercuria? <laughs> That's quite a story. I won't bore you with the details, but suffice it to say, I was always somewhat of an adventurer. The promise of virgin territory untouched by civilization held great sway with me in my youth, as did the idea of a highly spiritual state of mind. The occult, magic, karma. I was born in 1902, in Boston. By the time I was 17, I'd put that life behind me. I spent the next three years at sea, and then I wandered around Europe for a time. In the early 30s, the 1930s of course, I found myself in India, working as a journalist. That's where I met Manny, and that's where I first heard of Arcadia. I was amazed and quite skeptical at first, but the thought of a whole new world to see and magic? <laughs> I was a fool, of course, but who knew where my curiosity would bring me? But Curtis is not a shifter. So what happened in India? I've tried to forget about it, to be honest. If I could go back and convince myself not to... Oh, but I still wouldn't have listened, of course. The unknown attracts. I ended up in Tibet in the winter of 34, wading through snow up to my chest, thinking for sure that this was it, and I was going to die. Manny pulled me out of that one, thank God. I spent three months in a monastery before... Pushing on into the void. There's only one way for a non-shifter to pass through the divide, and it's not an easy road to take. Now, if you don't mind, <clears throat> I'd prefer not to talk about the past anymore. There's more than enough to worry about in the present. I should get going. Very well. You're welcome back at any time, Miss Ryan. Any time. Hmm. Thank you, sir. I'll remember that. So how... How this guy can help us go back to Stark? Wait, no. Uh, let's grab it and give it to him. Sign this, please. It's just to confirm that I made the delivery. Certainly. Ok, 
Okay. It's Brian Westhouse's signature. Okay, so I have the signature. Well, that's, that was anticlimactic. Hello, Mr. Westhouse. Back again so soon, Miss Ryan? And that's it? No, oh, he's I should a drink. Going. <laughs> okay. All right. So he doesn't tell us anything useful. Huh. Bottle. Wait, wait. Bottle. It's a brown, slightly cloudy liquor. Let's get drunk. I can't hold my liquor. I'll be spending the rest of the day doubled over, staring into the ocean, and, uh... I'll just not have any. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't think we can do anything else here. Hold on one second, Miss Ryan. I just remembered something. It's such a long time ago, I'd almost forgotten, but... Manny did give me something that might be of interest. Okay. What is it? It's a pocket watch. Manny gave it to me the last time I saw him. I never quite understood why, but maybe you can tell me. Did he say anything about it? He said that when his heart started beating again, he would know. It would be like a message in... Morse code, a beacon. Damn watch never worked. And the winding mechanism is broken, so it's probably not worth much. You're welcome to it if it's any help. Thanks. Hmm. What did he say about it? It's an antique pocket watch. It's not ticking. The knob used for winding the watch seems to have broken off, and there's only a tiny hole left. Uh-huh. Can I put a pushpin into that? I can. I insert this pin carefully into the hole. Like so, and then slowly wind it. It worked! It's ticking! Uh... Did it! It's a shift! I can go home! By God, it's a shift! I haven't seen one for ages! Why don't you come back with me, Mr. Westhouse? You could say hello to your old friend, Manny. If I tried to step through that, Miss Ryan, I would suffer a most unpleasant experience. And I would be lost in the between forever. Besides, I built this house with my own two hands. Good job. I wouldn't want to leave it to these barbarians. And what does your Stark have to offer me? This world is more recognizable to me now. Now you go ahead, Miss Ryan. Go back. And don't let your curiosity of the unknown tempt you into making another shift. I Thanks don't want help. to go back. Say hello to Manny for me. Tell him... Tell him I'm doing all right. And then I said... Thanks. No. Bah. Why the hell? Okay. But the bird. Tess. The maps. Oh, God, it's real. It's all true. I saw it. I saw the other world. Arcadia. Either I'm going crazy or you were right about everything. Hey, let's hope for the latter, eh, mi amiga? So I gather your trip was a success. Success? My whole world has been turned topsy turvy, so I don't think success is the right word. Nothing about it makes sense. Fact is, I don't believe in magic. Still? The sun does not need you to believe in it to rise in the morning, senorita. You have seen the truth with your own two eyes. I can do nothing more to convince you. It is up to you now. 
Well, do I have a choice? I have to believe at least some of it. My life wouldn't make much sense otherwise. You are a true skeptic, April. Está bien. We need your kind to balance the hopeless romantics like myself. Mm. What happens now? The Minstrom told you about the balance. About Stark and Arcadia. Yeah. A man named Tobias. He was called the Vestrum, I, I think. Vestrum Tobias. Ah, so Tobias made Vestrum give Yang good. I knew he would go far when I first met him years ago. He was just an instrument then, a student of the balance, but he was smart and resourceful. So you know what is going on with the balance. Tobias told me that the... Guardian? That the Guardian was missing and that the balance was failing. He said this would bring chaos into both worlds. As we are already seeing, your dreams, your nightmares, they are part of these. You sense chaos more keenly than most, but even they are beginning to notice that things are not as they should be. Like last night. What about last night? What you saw. You were not alone this time. There were others. And they saw the same thing. Not nightmares anymore. Real. The first sign of the damage chaos can do, the divide is being breached. It is not yet time for the worlds to be united. A breach could prove catastrophical. Who are you really, Cortez? Excuse me? People knew you over there in Arcadia. Tobias, he didn't know you by your real name, but he did know you. And Mr. Westhouse, he knew you too, as Chavez, but several hundred years ago. So my secrets are being revealed, are they? I wouldn't say that, because you're still a mystery to me, or so. Good. You see, senorita, mystery is important. To know everything, to know the whole truth is dull. <laughs> there is no magic in that. Magic is not knowing. Magic is, is wondering about what and, and how and where. I'd settle for the truth, just to be able to know you. Because, uh, honestly, I don't mean this in a bad way. You scare me, Cortez. I'm afraid of you. And you are not the only one, mi amiga. I'm sorry, but whatever it is about me that mystifies you, it will have to stay a secret. There are... there are things even you should not know. Gee, thanks. That really helped. Perdóname. Perhaps later, when we are certain of what the future holds, okay? I think I can promise you that, Senorita Ryan. Later. But for now, we must speak of more important matters. You helped me back, didn't you? To shift? See? The power is yours, yes? But for now, you need me to focus your powers to call forth your dreams. Dreams? Yes. To travel from one world to the next, you must pass through the world of dreams. It is the only way. You are capable of opening a shift on your own, but you might not be able to. What do you mean? The power. The magic is within you. And when you sleep, sometimes you open the portal without even being aware of it. But when you're awake, it's more difficult. With practice, you will do it. I don't think I want to do it. You must. The worlds depend on it. Yeah, we need to get the bird. So what do I do? We must work together, April. I can't do it alone, and neither can you. But what exactly is it that we have to do? Four things. We must find the Lost Guardian, we must locate the gateway to his realm, and the disc that is the key to his tower, and we must do what we can to curtail and defeat the Vanguard. Okay. <laughs> Seems simple enough. Uh... How are we going to find the Guardian? The moment he surrendered his throne and left his realm, 
He stepped back into our world, this world, Stark. This is where he was born, and so this is where he must return to. But he could be anywhere, right? This city has power, April. Not magic, but the opposite of magic. And it draws people to it like flies to an open fire. All the pieces of the puzzle come together here. You, me, the Vanguard, the Guardian. I can guarantee you that he's here. But where exactly, I do not know. I think maybe the Vanguard do. I think they may have him. If they have him, how are we going to get him back? And why do they need him? Why do we need him? He left his realm, but he's the last guardian. And only he can open the doorway back to his realm to let his successor through. The Vanguard knows this. But what they don't know, yet, is how to get there. Who'd know about the gateway to the Guardian's realm? That, I do not know. That knowledge wouldn't be here in Stark. You must go to Arcadia, study the books, talk with the Minstrom and others who might know, but not yet. First, we must finish our mission here. Where is the key to the Guardian's realm? In Arcadia. The key contains two parts. One is the disc itself, the other is the Four Jewels, the Eyes of the Dragons. That gives the disc the properties of the balance and makes it complete. Where is the disc? The disc was left in the care of the Sentinel 10,000 years ago. In the beginning, it was kept in the open, displayed for all to see. But not anymore. Not since thieves tried to make away with it. They will know where it is. Ask Tobias, Vestrom Tobias. Where are the four jewels? Ah, the eyes of the dragons. They are kept by the four dragons themselves. Two in Arcadia and two in Stark. The white dragon has one, as does the old one. These you must find yourself. I'll help you with the others. We've seen the white dragon, I think. How do we defeat the vanguard? The Vanguard are strong here, and growing stronger. Even in Arcadia, they are gaining a foothold. And with the Tyrant on a leash, the future looks quite bleak. How do you know so much about what's going on in Arcadia? Voices whisper in my ear, Senorita. Voices that I trust. You're saying the Vanguard are strong here. How come I haven't heard about them? They don't go by that name here. Did you ever hear of the Church of Voltec? Sure, they're... Oh, that's the Vanguard? See. Then they're big, very big, but why do they... Why assume a different name here? In Arcadia, they flaunt their philosophy. They preach the destruction of the balance under the pretense of returning humankind to the glories of the past. Here, they cannot do that, so they have integrated themselves slowly but surely into society under the subterfuge of the New Age religion, and they've built a financial empire to match governments. They have that much money? The Vanguard own multinational companies. They own planets, April. They own armies. All they need is the balance, and they will own everything. The twin worlds will be at their mercy. So, we basically don't stand a chance, do we, against an enemy like that? If we hold at bay the forces of chaos, and if we ensure the natural continuation of the Guardian's role within the balance, then they will have lost. How are we supposed to fight this chaos you keep talking about? You're the key, April. You have the power to shift, yes? But there's more to you than that. You are a child of the balance. And you... No, that will have to wait. She's a guardian, I By guess. By just being alive, you counter chaos. Without you, last night might have turned out much worse. That tiny breach might have been permanent. I didn't do anything. 
And imagine the power you wield when you really do something. Trust me on this, Amiga. It's instinctive to you to fight chaos. You see it so clearly, and you will know what to do. You are most needed in Arcadia, where chaos is a part of reality. The tidal wave will hit there first, and unless it's subdued before it hits Stark full force, we'll never stand a chance. So you will have to travel to Arcadia after we are done here. Okay, so that's it? Kick some vanguard ass, <laughs> find the Guardian, locate the entrance to his realm, and a 10,000-year-old disc and four dragon eye jewels? And oh, April, make sure you do battle with the physical manifestations of chaos along the way, because hey, that's your destiny. It's impossible, Cortez. I can't do these things. I'm 18. I'm an artist. No, not even that. I'm nobody. You can't place all these responsibilities on my shoulders. I can't carry that much. I will help you, April. Others too. You're not alone. Well, I feel very alone, and I can't even tell anybody about this. Yeah, hi. How are you? I'm the Chosen One. Can you help me save the world from evil and chaos? There is no Chosen One, April. There are only those who would and those who wouldn't. You have a choice between the two. You said I had powers. That I wasn't like everybody else. True. But you still have a choice. Prophecies can never unravel the will of a single human. You are one of many possible paths. But unfortunately, most of the alternative paths have been blocked by... ...circumstances beyond our control. The world does depend on you, but you have not been chosen. You choose for yourself what you are, and what you will be. What happens if I choose no, no way? I am not a fortune teller, nor am I a Venar. What will happen? Something else? That's all I can tell you. Something else. But I'm sure it won't be anything good. Not unless you agree to help. But I can't do it. I'm not who you think I am. I'm not your savior. I don't have any magic powers. I'm just this girl. I'm just... me. The choice is yours, April. As always, the choice is yours. It's not much of a choice, is it? For what it's worth? Perhaps not. Still, you need to come to the decision on your own. Then the choice will have to be... Yes, let's save the world. Where do we start? Here, in Newport. <sighs> we must find out about the Vanguard. Their headquarters are in this city, but where? Do they have the Guardian under lock and key? What are their weaknesses? Once we've done that, you must travel to Arcadia. I cannot go there, and besides, I have things to take care of here. Right. Except, where the hell do I go to find out about the Vanguard? The library? The net? Valuable information is hard to find. Remember the painting I showed you yesterday? Sure. The artist. A boy named Warren. I told you about him, yes? Warren is involved in a lot of activities that, um aren't exactly legal. He has connections. He can point us in the right direction. All right. Okay. Where do I find him? My friend, Father Raul at the Hope Street Cathedral, he's had some contact with the boy lately. Ask him. Wait. Did you say Hope Street? Yes. As in the most dangerous neighborhood in Newport? Is it? <laughs> I don't usually follow the civic affairs of the city. I remember Hope Street when they first built it. A clean neighborhood. That must have been a very long time ago. Still, I'm sure you'll be safe. You're a girl, no? <laughs> a self-respecting gentleman would never harm a girl. Sure. It's the self-respecting gentleman part I'm concerned about. Still, I can handle myself. Father Raoul, was it? At the Hope Street Cathedral? Yes. He will lead you in the right direction. Help you find Warren Hughes. When you're done tomorrow, 
We will meet up at the cathedral late in the afternoon. I need to speak with Raul as well. Okay, good. It's a plan then? Enjoy yourself tonight, April. Who knows what the future may hold? Good night. Oof. But the bird. What about the bird? We're still in the cutscene. No, oh, not anymore. For... Okay. Yeah, that's about the Brian. Yeah, I think I skipped this. I uh, okay, let's try to read this. Uh, I have just been told the story of the balance by Westrom Tobias, and I figured I should try to write this down while I still remember bits and pieces of it. Talk about cryptic history. Tobias uh, lost me somewhere around the 12 and the 1. Like, excuse me, what? But I think I get the gist of it. There are two worlds. Uh, one is Stark, the, the world of science, what I call Earth. And then there's Arcadia, the world of magic, what people here call Earth. To Earth, then, which gets a little... To Earth, then, which gets a little confusing. Uh, but not half as confusing as what came after. A long, long time ago, there was just one Earth, and this Earth had both magic and science. But mankind had always had a habit of screwing things up, and this is what they did on the original Earth. Uh, they get too powerful, learned how to move stars and be gods. By combining the powers of magic and science, um, so an alien race called the Drag Kin decided to interfere to prevent mankind from destroying the, their own world. <sighs> One of the so-called kin uh, found that this religious movement called the Sentinel, or the Fathers, who are self-appointed watchers over the balance between magic and science. The Sentinel were instrumental... No, the Sentinel were instrumental in dividing the earth into two dimensions, Stark and Arcadia, science and magic. They also put a woman in charge of controlling and channeling the balance between the two worlds, guardian of the balance who lives in a tower in a sort of in-between realm and who's replaced by 1,000 he was replaced every 1,000 years by a new guardian. So then life goes on, like thousands of years, until the sentinel starts squabbling in turn... What? Squabbling internally. And the sentinel priests in Stark decide to break their Arcadian friends and found this new cult, or whatever they called the van the vanguard. The vanguard won the worlds reunited, and they want to do this by controlling the guardian himself or herself. This is what they've been doing for a few thousand years now, destroying potential guardians by performing experiments on them or something. My hand is starting to cramp up. Um, I'm amazed even... I'm amazed I even remember half of this. Anyway, the current guardian 
couldn't stay any longer and he left his tower in the middle of nowhere and now the balance is in danger. Apparently Chaos can really do some serious damage to both Stark and Arcadia which does remind me of my uh, dream. I'm not sure what's the right word anymore. With the Black Chaos thingy the vortex that attract uh, that uh, that attacked me. That's probably a sign of what's gonna happen if somebody doesn't do something to save the balance. Oh my god, my eyes! <sighs> and I'm not. And I am sending this coming on because that's how it always goes in these things. Uh, that that somebody is me because what? And I'm sensing this coming on because that's how it always goes in these things. That that somebody is me. Because apparently I'm a... That, that's... So ah, oh my god. Oh. That, that somebody is me. Because apparently I'm a strong shifter. Somebody has to find the guardian, get him back in the tower to save the balance and then do something about the vanguard get them to see that they're screwing with with things they shouldn't be screwing with hey easy i do that kind of stuff before breakfast uh saturday afternoon have to use magnifying glass that wouldn't help <laughs> because this this font is like five pixels tall and it's all over the place. It's like meant to be a handwritten thing. Ah. But yeah, probably you you see it better on stream even because uh, of how the the video scaling works. For me, it's it's really small. Uh, okay, Saturday afternoon. Right, so I get back. No easy task, be believe you me. And Cortez proceeds to finally tell me everything. And we have a plan, which sounds good to me, but then I really don't have much experience with plans. I'm usually like, let's do whatever. But now we have a plan with a capital P, uh, even. Okay, so we, as in Cortez and myself, uh, have to find this guardian guy, the key to his realm, and an old stone disc with four jewels, and the way back into that place, because apparently nobody knows where it is, duh. And while, while all this is going on, I'm supposed to restore balance to chaos and do the laundry, probably. <laughs> to, to think that two days ago, all I had to remember was whatever uh, a customer ordered. A double decaf latte or a low-fat cappuccino. That's a lot to be right. That's a lot to be said for simple ignorance. Anyway, tomorrow, mm, tomorrow morning, I'm off to find whatever information I can on the Vanguard. Yay! Phew. So the question is, did I miss the bird quest? Or would I be able to do that later? Because I don't think I had enough to, to finish that quest. Because 
the only coin that I had, I wasn't been able to give that to to that magician or whatever. Um, because I used that coin to buy the flute and I received the signature to go to Brian's place. And yeah, I don't think I would have like... I don't think I would be able to finish that quest. But okay. I still have... Delivery list, so I have one unfinished item. And probably if I would go back... And finish this item... One map of the Northlands to be delivered to Tom Lyak at the Journeyman Inn. Journeyman Inn. Journeyman Inn. Uh, if I would finish this, I believe the merchant would give me one coin. But now I can't finish it. Can I use this watch? The watch is ticking. It's ticking. Can I use it? I can't use it, so I can't go back to Arcadia. It's a wooden flute. So, we have the flute, we have the delivery list, and we have the watch. Which we cannot use on our own, I guess. No, wait. Uh, let's save. Can I put the push pin, the push pin like, it's back working. into the watch? I don't need to wind it again. Ah, uh, we can't. Okay. So we can't go back to Arcadia. Hmm. Should I try to reload the save? I'm very curious. If I if I leave the place where the the Brian lives, where Brian lives, without starting the watch, can I finish this list? Get the coin, free the bird, get the bird to the old salesman. Not salesman. Seaman or whatever. Uh, how far back is this save? This is before we bought the flute, I guess. Did we try to do that? Let's try. I'm really interested in that. Uh, let's wait. Let's make sure that I save. And let's load this save. So, yeah, we have the coin, we have the list. We cannot use the coin. Because we need to finish this delivery list. So, let's, let's try. So, let's take the coin. Give it to I'll the merchant. The That's one errand, isn't it? Boing. Come on. As luck would have it, I actually know how to play a flute. Not very well, but I'm sure the uh, Mojal won't mind. Okay, let's go get the signature. Should save a little bit more often.
I'm ready to play some music if you're ready to sign. Aye, go on. But don't stop until I'm done signing, or the Mojal will surely wreak vengeance on us both. Done. Here you go. And don't ever ask me to sign anything ever again. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Okay, now we go back to the city. To the marketplace, back to the stalls. Nine second delay. Where are you going? Go to the merchant. This assignment is a map of Shangagriel to the Rolling Man. Hold on. Did you not ask me about him? Um, I could have. I forgot. Uh, let me explain. First, you. That's when. You that's West. I'm really no, glad I can skip the dialogue. There's a river. No. And that. No. You call. Better than. Yeah. Circle. North. Uh, is it a. No. Big creek. Yes. Good. Pass by the. I. Okay. Uh. Come on. So. We have another map, we have delivery list. So let's see. Yeah, maps. But yeah, now we can skip the whole maps. Dialogue. So let's see, now we need to bring the map to... Uh, to Brian. Hello, Mr. Westhouse? Damn, Mason. Oh. Sorry. Nah. April. Ryan. You hold on. Apparently. <laughs> now he's gonna drink. The liquor. Oh. Thanks for the. Really? No, sorry. Oh, no. Have delivery. I have delivery for you. A delivery. It's from the map. Oh, God. I'd strong. I'm not. So I got him to. Yeah. And I should, I be should going. get going. Should get going. Very well. You're welcome back at any time, Miss Ryan. Any time. Thank you, sir. I'll remember that. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the marketplace, to the stalls. Ah, I forgot to ask him to sign. Wait. Yeah, I forgot to ask him to sign. Bah. Sign this, please. It's just to confirm that I made the delivery. Certainly. Okay. Now I go back. Yep. Yeah, now I have the signature. Go, go, go. I was hoping that she, she was still right now. Where is... Okay. So the guy is not there.
Okay. So we can't do anything about the bird, I guess. It's a talking bird. We can't use the ring. We can't use anything. Okay, uh, do you know anything about the, the maps guy? How about a game of cups today? Thanks, but no thanks. Suit yourself, but that attitude will never bring coin to your pocket. Okay, so we can't do anything, so basically what, what we did is correct. I guess we will be able to return here later. <sighs> well, okay, let's load the save. Yeah, I guess we will solve this uh, bird puzzle later. So what do we do now? We need to find... We need to find that guy, but why did she say we need to do that tomorrow? Wait, not a lot. April's diary. Anyways, tomorrow morning I'm off to find whatever information I can on the vanguard, yeah. Why not right away? What are we supposed to do now? It's getting a little too late to head downtown. I think I'll stay in Venice. Okay, let's do the long way home. Let's check out if we have anything new in the park. Nothing adds more to the tranquility of a city park than a huge rusty iron bridge. Nothing Let's check out the academy. Probably nothing there, but I'm interested now. Well, probably I should just go to the hotel. Because I don't believe there, is, there will be something interesting here. We've already done everything. No. Okay, let's go. Okay, nothing here, I guess. Wait, where? This is the, to the border house. Do we have anything more here? No. Okay. So the screen. Can you tell me again about the screen, please? It's our screen. It's our screen. Crap. I'm tempted to go and watch go and watch the report. Maybe. Venice. Venice. So are we supposed to just go back to our room? Charlie. Nobody home. Okay. So, 
What are we supposed to do? Just sleep? to make my bed. It's been too hot to sleep with a cover. Wait, what are we supposed to do? I wonder why it's called a twin bed. There's no way it could possibly accommodate two people. Not that I've had a chance to try. What the hell? What are we supposed to do? Oh no, are we supposed to go and have a date with Zack? Hope not. So what the hell? Cafe? Is everybody Charles pulling long hours today Charlie unfortunately yeah are you staying for the show tonight what show you don't know who's playing I've had a few other things on my mind these past few days Charlie sorry anybody good anybody good are you kidding Roy and Dale's playing it's the first gig on their new tour. Sort of returning to their roots before they do the big venues. Tonight? Great, that's perfect. Especially tonight. I need some serious unwinding. Yeah? What's up? I just had the weirdest experience of my life. Weirder than what happened here last night? Much weirder, trust me. I mean, what happened here could be explained. A hologram, rapture gas, mass suggestion. That's stretching it a little, don't you think? What, rather than the alternatives? That we're all either going crazy or that something's breaking through from another world? You don't think that's stretching it? I don't know what I think, April. I just know that... Sometimes there are things lurking in the shadows that can't be explained by science. That the world holds more mysteries than we think. Maybe. So what's this thing you were going to tell me about the weirdest experience of your life? You wouldn't believe me anyway, Charlie. Try me. No, really, I can't. It's too much, too close. I don't know if I believe it myself. Okay. You tell me about it later then, all right? Maybe. Is Emma around? Haven't seen her. But she knows about the show, so she'll be here. When does the concert start? In less than an hour. I expect the place to be crowded soon. So you should find yourself a spot to sit down. Thanks, Charlie. No problem. Later. I have more than enough. Okay. Mm, so how do we have here? Oh, it's a cutscene, okay. Hmm? Emma? No, wait. Is that Fiona? So no, where have I'm you been all day? You didn't show up at school, you weren't at work, and then Fiona tells me you're out looking for Cortez again. And on top of that, Zack brags about bagging a date with you. What's up with that? Oh, shit. Zack, I totally forgot. He's gonna kill me. If I don't show up, that is. You mean it's true? You have a date with that asshole? I told him he was full of shit. I needed some information. 
and you sell yourself to get it? April, you're insane. Well, you're just going to have to disappoint him. I made a promise. To that sleaze bag? That's a promise made to be broken. Mm, okay, chat. What do we do? A promise is a promise, I have to go. Or you're right, I'm st staying here. Hmm. 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 Crap, this is a tough choice. I cannot save. Great. Uh, well, on one hand, I'm interested in what is gonna happen if I do go. On the other hand, I really want to just forget about Zack. I don't know. A promise is a promise. I have to go. Commendable, but incredibly misguided. He's only after one thing, you know, and that's sex. <laughs> he can forget about that. I'll go, but I'm only staying an hour. I'll tell him I'm tired or sick. Knowing Zack, he'll take that as an invitation to your bed. But I guess you've made up your mind. Go, have a good time. And good luck, you'll need it. Okay, chapter three. Oh, God, headache. No, I didn't really have that much to drink, did I? No, but I did travel through a shift into a parallel universe, which would explain this weird compulsion to curl up into a fetal position and go back to sleep. Not that I'm particularly looking forward to it, but I guess I have to go find that Warren guy Cortez told me about down on Hope Street. And hey, like that's not enough. I have to avoid bumping into Zack today. Last night's, um, uh, date is not something any of us should be reminded of, and I'm not just talking about the incident with the groping and me kicking him in the groin. Doesn't he get that no means no? No. Okay, at least he, uh, he got the kick into the balls. Uh, okay. <sighs> Sunday. Sundays are made for sleeping in. Sundays are made for walking around in baggy clothes. Uh, watching movies. Oh my god, I need to get closer to the screen. Uh, nursing, headaches, hanging out with friends and at the cafe. Sanders are not made for going to the worst neighborhood in town to find a kid. Might be able to give you the information necessary to in infiltrate a powerful cult that plans to take over the known universe. That's what Mondays are for. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Okay, okay, so the world's in mortal danger and the only thing standing in the way of total chaos is me. And this morning I have to go to Hope Street to talk to this priest called Raul at the cathedral so that he can tell me where where I can find Warren Hag Haggis. Dear Diary, note to self. The next time anybody says the word destiny, run like hell. Yeah. Okay. 
So let's go. I don't know. How are you both? What the fuck was your glitch last night, bitch? Wow. I'm sorry. What did you call me? I take you to a top class club, wine you and dine you, and you slap me in the fucking face. Did you ask yourself why I slapped you, Zach? I don't fucking care. You'll regret fucking with me, bitch. I can promise you that. Uh. I'd call you a bastard if I didn't think you'd take it as a compliment. If I wasn't such a fucking nice guy, I'd smash your fucking face in, bitch. You're gonna be so fucking sorry you ever fucked with me, April fucking Ryan. Wow. That's Zach's room. I've never been in there, and I pray I never will. Okay. Wait. Candace Terminal no. do something? I don't no. what? I got something on my face? Is my hair okay? What are you looking at? Uh, okay, no one's here. Let's take a look at the board. Maybe we'll have something interesting. Monkey. Look, it's Monkey Boy! I'm sorry, but big sweaty jocks do not turn me on. I'll take a nerd any day. No, nothing new. Okay. So we need to go to... Oh, uh, what's his name? The subway. Hero back. Good. Okay, we should have another train station. Yeah, Hope Street. Actually, no, I don't think we need to go there. Let's go to the Hope Street. The boss man. From his uniform, I'd say he's one of the West Side Kings. They got recruitment posters all over town. Looks like he knows how to use that steel pipe. I think he's in trouble. She's gone. Okay. Cathedral is there. Okay. Pipes. Gas or water mains, perhaps. Or, ugh, sewer pipes. That would explain the smell. So I guess we can only go to the cathedral. Down there. Okay, let's go. Come on, how 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 long does it take you to run there? Okay. I wonder how they light those candles. Do they have ladders? Or jetpacks? That's a funky idea. Priests with rockets on their backs. That would give a whole new dimension to evening services. Okay. Right? There was something. Pretty. And considering the neighborhood, it's a miracle that it's still intact. Maybe it's bulletproof stained glass designed for inner city cathedrals. Maybe they're just holographic candles.
confessionals. So I guess the only place where we could go is the confessionals. Yeah, nothing else really. Let's go. It's the confessional. It's a baby angel. A cherub? He's got a red robe wrapped around his posterior, and he looks to be in a hurry. I can't remember reading about this particular incident in the Bible. Maybe it was in the, um, the sequel? Nah. Sequel. That came out only five years ago, and this wall painting looks a lot older than that. Sequel to the Bible came five years ago. Okay. It's a priest. That it? This is someone. Let's try to talk to the priest. Wait, what? <laughs> Good morning. I'm Father Raul. You're not a Hope Street regular, are you? I haven't seen you here before. I don't visit the neighborhood very often, no. And why should you? It's not a very nice place. This cathedral is all there's left of the hope in Hope Street. I'm sorry to hear that, Father. So am I. But we cope. We cope. How may I be of assistance? Do people still go to church? Yes, some do. Some do. Religion is pretty resilient. Religion, sure. But there's so many new religions, and people tend to abandon the old ones, don't they? They'll be back. The Voltex and the Manus of the world offer only a fleeting chance of material happiness. What they cannot offer is spiritual enlightenment. So you're not worried about the competition? We have over 2,000 years of experience and tradition to build on. I don't see us just rolling over on our backs and giving up. No. Do you know a boy named Warren Hughes? As a matter of fact, I do. The Hugheses were regulars before they traveled to the colonies. Poor Warren was left an orphan by his family. I haven't seen him for years. Where does Warren live? I'm not sure he lives anywhere. But he does belong to a Hope Street gang, the Razorblades, I believe. They seem to conjugate just down the street in Building 87. Be no, careful, though. Just, uh... Although they're far from the worst gang around here, they're not a particularly friendly lot, and they don't care for strangers. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I don't doubt that. Still, be careful. Thank you, Father. Please come by again if you're ever in the neighborhood. It's the confessional. It's been more than two years since my last confession, but... No. I'm not in a mood to be counting beads right now, and with my list of, um, shortcomings, I'll be counting beads for a very long time. Okay. Uh, let's check out the diary. Sunday, I went to the Hope Street Cathedral and met Father, Father Raoul, nice guy. He told me that Warren hangs out in building 87 right down on Hope Street. That's building 87 of the Hope Street project. Not exactly the friendliest place in town. It's more of a shoot first, then shoot again, then pull the trigger a few more times before asking questions kind of place. And I'm not even sure they bother with the asking questions part anymore. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything? No, not really. Okay, I guess let's go. I didn't see any new puzzles yet. Okay, this is the building 87 then. Let's go there.
It's a boy. Looks to be about 15 or so. Okay, let's talk to the kid. Can I talk to you for a minute? You know where I can find a kid named Warren Hughes? Who's asking? Um, I am. Warren Hughes. Never heard of him. What's your name? What's yours? April Ryan. Lucky you. All right, well, I guess you can't help me. Nope. Nobody can. What do you mean? A nice, pretty girl like you in a neighborhood like this, asking all the wrong questions. You're heading for some serious trouble, you know. I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. Sure you can. The thing is, there are four guys waiting downstairs for you to come back out, and they can take care of themselves real good. I'm not looking for trouble. Trouble found you, girl. I don't have any money. You think I want your money? Shit, you can keep your damn money. Just because I live in the projects don't mean I'm a thief, you know. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Of course not. You people never do. What do you want from me? I should have asked you the same question. Except I don't care. You should have thought twice before coming after me. After you? I didn't come... So you're Warren. What? Like you didn't know? No. Cortez told me your name, where to find you, but... Hold on. Cortez? Old Spanish talking dude. Real crazy in the head? That's a no. fair description, yeah. Shit. You're not a cop. Social services? You're corporate? No, no. I'm a... a friend of Cortez. He said to look you up. I haven't seen Cortez in a while. Not since before. So what does Senior Cortez want with me? We need some help. What kind of help? Look, I gotta stay incognito most of the time now that corporates and cops are stepping up their search for us. I can't go risking my ass for nobody. Not even Cortez. That's all right. I just need some information on a group called the Vanguard and their leader, Jacob McAllen. Oh, sorry. Never heard of those guys. You wouldn't have. They keep to themselves, and they got some kind of cover operation going. But I don't know what it is, and... You want... need to find out? All right, here's the thing. I got a friend who might be able to help you out. Great! Hold on. Before I use up my favors with him, I need you to do me a favor in return. Probably even help yourself out at the same time. Fair enough. What do I have to do? Easy. Break into the Newport Police Department computer archives. Get me some information on my family. Destroy my criminal record and get the hell out of there. Wow. Preferably alive. Preferably. You want me to risk my life for a personal favor? If you don't do this for me, I won't help you out. Besides, there's probably some information on the... Uh, Vanguards, was it? In the archives. And that information will be valuable to my friend if he's going to help you out. I'll do it. Smart decision. So here's the thing. My dad doped out on raps and seduced by commercials. Sold out our whole family to the shiny happy colonization program for a lifetime supply of the big R. The rapture. He neglected to ask his lovely wife and children, and the corporates didn't care. One day they came to pick up my mom, my sister, and me. I got away though, snuck out the window, I spent the next two weeks in a dumpster. And your family? And that's just it. I don't know. Off to the colonies, of course, but which one? I don't know. Sometimes they split up families, too. You know, they don't tell you that in their ads. I don't give a shit about my dad, and my mom, she's tough. She can take care of herself, but I want my sister back. We were real tight. I'm not gonna let him use her in the mines and factories out there. So, you want me to find out where they took your sister? That's it. You're catching on. You do that for me, and delete my criminal record at the same time to get them damn corporates off my ass. I'll give you all the help you need.
Where's the police station? Take the subway to Metro West. You'll come out on what they call Cop Street. You'll see the NPD headquarters down the block. You can't miss it. How do I get to the police station again? Take the subway to Metro West. You'll see it. I'd better get going. Okay. Be cool, eh? It's out of order. I think I'll just take the stairs. So, can I go upstairs? No, downstairs. Okay, let's go downstairs. I don't see anything here in particular, so let's go to the police station, I guess. Wait, what was the Metro West? I guess so. And I think we had something new in the diary. More Sunday stuff. At this rate, I'll have to get a new diary by the end of the week. Uh, Warren ha What was his name? Huge? Ha Hags? I don't know. Uh, wasn't a bad kid at all. Just an unlucky one. Uh... He acted tough, but I could tell he was a sweetheart. Anyway, he's willing to help, but I get to do him a few favors first. I even get to play the criminal, yeah. Um, his sister and parents were sent to the colonies. He wants to find out where they went, so I have to dig through the police archives to get a hold of whatever information I can. At the same time while I'm in there, I should also look up the Vanguard or the Church of Voltec, which is like their cover here, which is like their cover here in Stark. Okay. Can you just describe this? It's your garden variety robotic roadblock. You see them all over this pothole infested town. There's a small control panel on it. The display reads 3018. Okay, 3018. I'm not sure why we would need that. Another but okay. unfortunate victim of the Anglo Pacific Wars of the 90s. I do all my grocery shopping at T Rex. Not that their food is particularly good, nor their price is particularly low. I just love their ads. They're tray cool. Especially the one where they built an actual sized robot dinosaur and sent it out to mangle a competing chain of grocery stores. For real. I don't know if anybody got hurt, but man, that campaign kicked ass. Okay. Where are you going? It says Threadbare Lane, MCW, and the street ID number is 3018. And this one is also 3018, right? Oh, wait. There's a container. There's a small control panel on it. The display reads 3018. It's a numeric keypad, but I have absolutely no idea what numbers to type in to move the roadblock. Okay, why do I need to move it? Can you go faster? It's a garbage container, and it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. 
It says Calavera Crossing MCW, and the street ID number is 0092. Then touch the container. Let's see if I can do that. Oh my god. She's so slow. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, right. Oh my god. How can I go there? Wait, what? Oh, police station, okay. Okay, let's go there. Oh no. Goes the goes the long way around. It's an automated garbage truck. They crisscross the town emptying containers and running people over. Okay. This is Lucinda Carlisle reporting live from just outside the Metro Precinct Police Station, and I bring you today a senseless and tragic display of technology gone wrong. In the carnage you see behind me, medical drones are digging through the rubble of a crashed shuttle for the remains of over 100 people who lost their lives today in an accident. That could and should have been prevented. Only hours ago, a brave hey, new world airline shuttle carrying starry-eyed colonists to the Metro Tower experienced an engine failure and came roaring down on this street without warning, crushing three cars and burying nine innocent pedestrians April. and two would-be carjackers. The cause of this human tragedy? As of yet, there is no official report. We can only speculate April. and speculate we will. Was no. the pilot drunk? Was he hopped up on Amethyn? Was someone aboard carrying a bomb? Did the manufacturers of the shuttle, Monster Limited, skimp on a part and import it from a bootleg factory in Germany? The truth could be any or all of the above. But whoever is responsible, and whatever the punishment, it won't bring any of those bloodied, mangled corpses to life. It won't bring Teresa Roseman, mother of three, back to her husband, Marty. That loss is forever. And a huge cash settlement can only ease the pain. It can never remove it altogether. Only expensive brain surgery or personality modification through proprietary drugs can do that. The exact death count is still under wraps, and work will continue throughout the day to identify the thousands of body parts that are being picked one by one from the twisted wreckage of BNWA Shuttle 709. What repercussions will this accident have on our city? Probably none. You fly a shuttle, you take your chances. This is Lucinda Carlisle, reporting live for the Metro Channel Action News. Back to you, Lisa and Dan. Are we clear? How did I do? Uh-huh. And what are the ratings? Five million? That's it? Five million? Jesus, we've lost out to reruns of Gillian's Island? What the fuck, Gregory? Why the hell did you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give me any of that shit. You were the one who said this would broaden my audience. I, I should have stuck with the game shows. Jesus! <laughs> okay. Uh, so what do we have here? Cup. 
Wright's a police officer. He's guarding the wreckage. It's a high-voltage laser perimeter fence. The color indicates that they're using military-grade lasers. If I'm not completely mistaken, and if I remember my tech classes correctly, that's an anti-gravity control unit. It looks fully intact. Anti-gravity control unit. Huh. So we need to find a way to turn off the fence. Move along. There is nothing to see here. Except for you, officer. Hey, me? I always did love a man in a uniform. Sorry, ma'am, but I'm gay. <laughs> now, move along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Except for that crashed hovercraft. Nah. You see those everywhere these days. Sorry? Dime a dozen. Crashed hovercraft are a dime a dozen? Fifteen a week, ma'am. At the very least. In this city alone. But they say it's the safest mode of transportation available. Statistically, yes. Unless you're aboard one of the buggers. Then your chance of survival drops drastically. What? They're the safest mode of transportation, if you stay on the ground. The chances of being hit by one going down are relatively low. Okay. Thanks for ruining my trust in modern technology. We're here to protect and serve. Isn't it the other way around? Just keep it moving, ma'am. Nothing to see here. Except for the escaped convict right behind you. I'm on special duty today, ma'am. So that escaped convict will have to take care of himself. After all, who'd guard this perimeter in my absence? Uh, me? I'll be good. That was a rhetorical question, ma'am. You are not qualified. Now, move on. Nothing to see here. Except... I won't tell you again, so move along. There is absolutely nothing to see here. Nothing. Jeez, don't you people have anything better to do? <coughs> Are you feeling all right, officer? Thank you, ma'am. I'm fine. All the dust from the debris is just choking me up. <coughs> okay. Station entrance, street. Move along. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <coughs> Damn. Dust. Hmm. Okay, so he doesn't like dust. We need to turn off the fence. We also need to get rid of him, I guess. To get to there. Oh, do we have anything else? Don't think so. Let's try to go back to the street. Don't think we have anything here, but just in case. Yeah, we don't know what to do with this rod block yet. Have the... oh! So if we put the rod block somewhere here, I guess, we can make the garbage truck crash, maybe. But yeah, we need to know how to operate the rod block. Let's, let's see what's inside the police station. <coughs> Police officer. He's guarding the entrance. The doors are closed. 
Doors are closed. Hey! How do I get into the station? That is the question, is it not? Pardon? To get in, or not to get in? That is the question. <sighs> Good grief, more weirdos. Oh, I'm not a weirdo. I'm an actor. Sure. No offense, but isn't that an oxymoron? Lady, you are the cruelest she alive. <sighs> How do I get into the station? You don't. Not today. But I need to get in. What if there's been a crime? Good point. I guess you need to report it via one of the many kiosks installed throughout the city, or by contacting an officer of the law. Like yourself? I am but a humble servant of Her Majesty. And I'm actually assigned to Vice, so don't bother. Any chance you'll let me through? Shower me with sweet forgiveness, Princess, but unfortunately... I cannot. The doors ain't working. The doors aren't working? They're not. Good lord, I must report this immediately, after I'm done with my policing exercise. What? Did you say the doors weren't working? Ah, correct. The only things getting in and out of the station today are police officers, prisoners, and garbage. Aren't they all pretty much one and the same thing? Cutting words from a wench's barbed mouth? What did you call me? Hmm, sweet princess. <laughs> That's more like it. How are you able to bring garbage out and prisoners in when the doors are broken? These doors don't work. But the gate downstairs does, of course. You can only get through that inside of a vehicle. The security measures are quite extreme. Why cow extreme? Can you say radiation poisoning? Why were you parading back and forth like that? I am practicing the fine art of policing. Fine it doesn't art of look policing. like policing, it looks like acting. Bollocks! And I thought I was making progress. Maybe if you tried being a little less... rigid? Yeah, but it's this bloody suit. It makes everyone move the same way. I'm not able to release the character. Are you an actor or a cop? Both, darling. Both. I am an actor, but I will portray an officer of the law in my next motion picture. It's called Mad Cop 2. I play the Mad Cop's friend, the somewhat ticked-off cop. I think I saw the first one. It stunk. I agree. But this one has a certain... Uh, je ne sais quoi. Flair. That the original lacked. You mean more violence, more sex, less plot? That's it. Okay. So you're doing research for your next role? Indeed, my fair maiden, I am. I have been assigned to a squad to capture the essence of Her Majesty's honorable service. And what squad would that be? Vice. Okay, so I guess we need to... We need to get into the garbage container and get in the police station through that. How are you able to bring garbage out and prisoners in when the doors are broken? These doors don't work, but the gate downstairs does, of course. You can only get through that inside of a vehicle. The security measures are quite extreme. Why cow extreme? Can you say radiation poisoning? Okay. Thanks, and good luck. Ah, uh, parting is such sweet sorrow. Farewell, princess. Till we meet again, farewell. Is there something? No. Newport Police Department. It's a holographic sign. OK. 
Okay. So, uh, I don't know what to do. Anti gravity control unit. Why do we need that? It's a high voltage laser perimeter fence. Hmm. Wait. So this street is thirty eight or nine or what was the ID? It says Calavera Crossing MCW and the street ID number is double zero ninety two. Double zero ninety two. So we need to enter double zero ninety two, I guess, into this crap. And it will block that rod. Maybe. It says Threadbare Lane, MCW, and the street ID number is 3018. And we have 3018 here. There's a small control panel on it. The display reads 3018. What was the ID here again? It says Calavera Cross... 0092. if I try entering the idea of the intersecting street the roadblock will move okay oh my god go go there what do you do Okay. So let's see. Let's wait for the garbage truck. Huh. Oh. Hello. It looks like the truck's route takes it down below the police station. That's probably where the cops dump their trash. And the mangled bodies of uncooperative witnesses. So, the garbage gets into the station. Hmm. Let's get into the container. Oh my god, why are you walking so slowly? Yeah, now it lights up. Yes. Okay. Ah, keep your claws to yourself. Keep your claws to yourself. That was so gross. The things I do to save the world, I mean that smell, that sticky stuff, the way that rat just wouldn't let go. Disgusting. Not to mention the fact that I really, truly stink. I don't think this is ever coming off. I'm gonna stink like fish heads and moldy pizza for the rest of my sorry life. Okay. You can usually tell a crook by his eyes and his foul behavior. Tuvok? 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 <coughs> Toolbox. It's a toolbox. There's a sheet of paper in here. Take it. 
some kind of requisition form or work order. Okay. Bokama Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. This phone, 099-12090. All right, I need to know that. It's an old vid phone. Ancient, ancient technology. Visuals are so passe. Dial home. <laughs> Phone. The screen and camera are both out of order. <laughs> screen and camera out of order. Let's dial I home. haven't spoken with mom since I... Since I left, actually. I should give her a ring. <laughs> Hello? Hi, mom? It's April. How are you? Where are you, sweetheart? In the city, Mom. You know that. Why didn't you call? We've been... I've been worried sick about you, sweetheart. I've been worried sick. Didn't you get my letter? Yes, and I can't say I understand why. Well, that was the problem, wasn't it? You didn't understand. I don't think it was fair of you to be so hard on your father. You hurt him a lot, you know? And I'm not just talking about you pushing him down the stairs. And what about me? You don't think he hurt me? Were you so blind you didn't see that? April, you know I can't take sides in this. No. Of course not. Not you. Not ever. Anyway, how is... Is Dad doing okay? I mean, after the fall. He broke his arm, and he had to take some time off work. Money short because of that. We had to pull Danny out of school until next semester. You can't blame me for those things, Mom. If you hadn't left like you did... I'd probably be dead now, Mom. I couldn't take it anymore. Please, let's not argue about this now. I just wanted to... I just wanted to hear your voice. Please come home, April. We still love you. <laughs> no. Thank you, but no. That's not gonna happen. Listen, I have to go. I'm in the middle of... something. Take care, okay? Okay, sweetheart. I love you. Yeah, me too, Mom. Bye. <laughs> okay. It's a thin guy wearing red coveralls. He looks like a repairman. It's a, um, portly fellow wearing red coveralls. I think he's a repairman. <coughs> Hiya! Huh? You an angel from heaven come to take me away? No point talking to old Georgie there. Ever since he overdosed on raptures, he ain't been right in the head. I don't ever let him hold the hammer no more either, I'll tell you that. Hi. What do you want? We're on our lunch break, honey. How <laughs> do I smell? Excuse me. How do I smell? Smell? Are you coming on to me, honey? What? I don't know. Women don't usually come on to me, so I'm I'm just checking. I wouldn't want to miss a come on. I asked you how I smelled. Yeah, right. Um, like, uh, moldy pizza and... Um, is that salmon? Smoked. Yeah. Smoked. And a faint touch of rum? I had an... accident with a bottle inside a garbage container. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. You're not alone. In fact, there are meetings downtown every Wednesday night. 
I don't have a drinking problem. If you can't admit it to yourself, honey, you do. After all, who's the one reeking a rum? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> Not today, anyway. Not Enjoy today, your man. lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. Okay. Um... So I is that we can dial this phone. The doors are closed. They don't open manually. Let's talk to, to this guy. From my extensive knowledge of cop shows, I'd say she's probably the desk sergeant on duty. For some reason, they're always slightly overweight and grumpy. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what can I do for you? Yeah, yeah. Where are the archives? The archives? You're not an officer of the law, are you? <coughs> I'm in training at the academy, and I need to get into the archives to... study. You're in training? Uh-huh, sure you are. Then what the hell you doing here? You should be at the academy doing push-ups and learning how to bullshit like a pro. About the archives. You're not an officer of the law, are you? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> if you're a cop, where the hell's your uniform? Your badge? Your standard issue disruptor pistol. At home. They're all at home. Then I suggest you get your cute little butt home and get your badge, your uniform, and your gun. Capiche? Now shoo, leave the grown-ups to do the grown-up work, okay? About the archives. You're not an officer of the law, are you? So what if I'm not? Then you can't go into the back, capiche? <laughs> Cops only. Besides, half the doors in this building, including that one, are out of order. Nobody's going in, nobody's coming out. And until those overpaid, underworking service guys get off their butts and back to work, that's the way it's gonna stay. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Okay, so the service guys have to fix the door. Panel panel is closed. Oh my god, go go quicker. It's completely secured. I can't open it. It's a toolbox. Okay. The doors are closed. The doors are closed. <coughs> Okay, uh, can I dial the phone number, this one? me again <sighs> why are you guys working we're on a contractually bound lunch break uh huh right <coughs> but you're not eating we're done eating sure but we're still on our break clause 16 of the contract and I quote improper digestion may prove detrimental to further work related activities end quote okay meaning what we're letting the corned beef settle, honey. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to fix the doors? <laughs> That's right. But instead, you're just... sitting here. That's right. And you're not planning on getting back to work anytime soon? That's right. That's right. And you're not bothered by this? That's right. I could say anything, anything <laughs> at all. That's right. 
And you just answer... That's right. That's right. Well, how's that for productivity? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It'd be so nice if you could fix the doors. And it would be so nice if you could go away and leave us alone. Is there anything I can do to make you go back to work? No. Shorten of emergency. We ain't moving our asses in the foreseeable future. <laughs> what constitutes an emergency? Any event accompanied by a specific work order signed in triplicate. What kind of work order? Ah, well, you know. About the work order... Yeah, I think I yeah. have one. Which one? You know, for emergencies. You mean the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form? Uh, sure. Well, if you were to produce said requisition with the appropriate signatures, we'd be forced to prematurely suspend our lunch break, for tactical reasons, of course. For Thus allowing reasons. our scheduled work to be completed. Don't you just love bureaucracy? You what? Never mind. Where do I go to get the requisition form? What form? The requisition form for the short-term tactical suspension of... Uh... Of union member benefits. Any official office for which we perform services. Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. <laughs> hmm. the doors are closed. I know they are closed. So again, what Okama is this Mercer one? Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. That's the work order the, um, Portly guy was talking about. So I have it. Let's show it to him. That's the requisition from last week. What a horrible experience that was. I pray each and every night that we'll never have to sacrifice our lunch break again. You keep it, okay? Seeing that form again sickens me. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. It's a vid phone. Busy. What a surprise. <coughs> this phone, 099, one... April Ryan, you have got so, to get past yourself. The doors are closed. So we have the phone number of this phone. This phone has a broken screen, so we don't know the number. We can dial this from from this phone, but nothing happens. Let's actually try that again. Yeah, nothing really happens. Actually, wait. If I dial that number... That's just my incoming call. The, the doors are closed. The door... That's just my incoming call. <laughs> so what? Doors are closed. There's no way I'm going back down into the basement. I'd rather be rolled out of here on a gurney with my body wrapped in black plastic. <coughs> hmm.
interesting. So why do we need the phone? Vid phone. The screen and camera are both out of order. Can only dial that number. I assume this one would be like one digit more or like <laughs> less because they're right next to each other but they cannot dial any other number when I dial it it just rings I cannot answer it she says that this is my incoming call hmm <laughs> Repairman. Calf troops? What, what, uh. Yeah, a lot of people calf on here. Mm. <laughs> -uh. Tuvok? Who's Tuvok? Tuvok? You can usually tell a crook by his eyes and his foul behavior. Can I give him something? Wait. <laughs> Can I give the the fat guy the candy? No. No. Boo. I don't know. Have the panel. It's completely secured. I can't open it. Can't open it. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You again? What do you want now? Where you went now? Uh, I need a requisition form number 09042, short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. Here you go, miss. <laughs> union requisition form number 09042. Oh, that was easy. Oops. Bokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042, short term tactical suspension of union <laughs> members' benefits. The work order's blank. It's blank. Can I combine this two? It's blank. I guess I need to fill it in somehow. How can I do that? <coughs> Let's try to give it to him. I better forge. Ooh, uh, fill out this work order first. <laughs> forge. So how do I forge it? Wait, where are you going? Fix the damn doors. Sign the commission. There. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> she did her. She did it on her own. Now we're set. What's this? Oh, just a jolly little requisition entitled "Short-Term Tactical Suspension of Union Members' Benefits." Say what? Lady, do you realize what you've just done? You've interrupted our lunch break. This is an official work order. It can't be. <coughs> Wait. 09042. This isn't 09042-A, is it? Uh, 
no, just plain old 09042 dash nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! This being Sunday and all, that petition is useless. <laughs> On public holidays, you need the extension dash A form. Addendum for public holidays. Us being on triple overtime and all. So? <sighs> so, we're gonna stay here and enjoy our extended break. Thank you very much. Now go away. <laughs> okay. Let's try again. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? What do you want now? I'm sorry, but I need the 09042-A requisition form addendum as well. The what? The 09042-A? Why the hell didn't you ask me for that one in the first place? Because I'm a cruel bitch and I love torturing you. In fact, I've made it my <clears throat> life's mission to haunt you forever and ever with requests for useless forms and documents. Hmm. Holds on. <coughs> <laughs> okay. All right, requisition form number 09042-A. And that better be it. <laughs> okay. Dash A. Bokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, Form Number 09042-A, Short-Term Tactical Suspension of Union Members' Benefits, Public Holiday Addendum. So, do I forge it right away, or do I show it to the guy? Guess I show it to the guy. Now we're set, I hope. Why do you keep bothering us? Don't you have anything better to do? No, absolutely not. This is requisition form number 09042-A, the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form with the public holiday addendum. Balls! We've been nailed, George. Get your ass off the chair. We're going back to work, thanks to this... Lovely young lady. Now they're going to fix the door, I guess. Wires. Wires. One red, one blue. <coughs> the panel is open and some wires are hanging out. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. <coughs> Alright, how do I... I can't get to the wires while these guys are working on them. I need to create some kind of distraction. Get them away from the panel. Okay. I know how to do that. Are you guys going to be done soon? Hey, who knows? This is complicated stuff, honey. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the, the option, but I wanted to see what uh, he's going to say. There's a phone call for you. For me? Who is it? I think it might be union business. 
Out of my way, lady! <laughs> Come on. Let me go. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. I can't get to the wires while these guys are... There's a call for you too, sir. Me? <laughs> I get no calls ever. Ever. Except from my mommy. Yeah, this is your is mommy. Is it my mommy? It is. Uh, it could very well be your mommy. Oh. Oh. Thanks. It's a long shot, but if I try to cross these wires... Here we go. Voila. I'm so Go, 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 go. Hey, you can't go back there. It's a restricted area. You need to distract her. How? I know how. Let's ask for another form. Excuse me, ma'am. You again. What do you want now? When do you want now? Thanks anyway. Hey. <laughs> um I wanted to ask for a form. Where is my old form? Let's see. What's the most difficult form to get a hold of? Okay. The label on that shelf says, Reporting indecent or lewd behavior by bingo or BM personnel. Number 31366. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? What do you want now? I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. Number. 31366. Hold on. <laughs> Go. Perfect. Okay, we're in. Doorway, sign, being a set of machine. Bingo, the world's favorite soda. And after the devastating soda wars of 2159, the world's only soda. Devastating soda wars? Considering the fact that I'm inside a police station, it might be prudent to pay for the soda first. Yeah, kick it. Considering the fact that I'm inside a police station, it might be prudent to pay for the soda first. Hmm. Archives. Archives, okay. What is this? Locker room. Locker room. Let's check out the locker room, I guess. Someone's having fun in that in that stall. Sergeant Frank Minnelli. Sergeant Russell Franco. Sergeant Ricky Mahone. Sergeant Maria Hernandez. Sergeant Morty Lowe. Sergeant Anthony McDonald. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go back and check out the door because. Yeah, it's gonna say what I need. It's a retinal scanner, instantly outdated by the genetic scanner, but I guess here they don't care. We have an eye. I don't think so. The security feedback will probably fry my eyeballs. We have an eye. Okay. Let's save real quick. No? No. Okay. So I have locker rooms. Showers. The showers. Unisex, of course. I could use a shower. Uh, no. Well, why not? It's 
it's occupied. Yeah, someone's having some trouble there. Hi, who's in there? Manelli, who's asking? God, I know that voice. What? Who are you? Pizza deliver. Agent Scully, FBI. You'll be wanting the chief's office then. That's down the hall. Oh my God, pain. Hello? Who is it? It's me. It's me. Oh, hey, hey, wait. I know that voice. Identify yourself. Uh, um, I gotta run. Hey, hold it, come back. Oh my god, that hurts. Hello? Who is it? Nobody? Nobody. Who is... Oh my god. Somebody kill me. <laughs> Hello? Who is it? Pizza, pizza delivery. delivery. <laughs> oh God! Don't mention pizza, Christ. Hello. Okay. Who is it? Who is it? Sergeant Hernandez. Maria, thank God you're here. Listen, I need you to get my stomach medicine from the locker. Here's the key. Oh God. Okay. Can you stand aside? It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. I guess Frankie Boy's using one of those babies. You can never tell from looking at him. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. Tummy ooh ah. Fast relief for a runny tummy. Sergeant Manelli's been banging this locker shut one too many times. Say hello to seven years of bad luck, guy. That sure makes me feel a whole lot better about harassing him. Okay, so he has a synthetic eye. I have a monkey's eye. So we need to somehow switch those two. Hello? Maria, you got my medicine? Yep, got it right here. Well, slide it under the door, will you? Hurry. Okay. Um, well, let's try. Why not? Wait. Let me read it. Tummy ooh ah. Fast relief for runny tummy. Ugh. Okay. Oh, thank God, thank God. Uh. How are you feeling? Better, a little better. I need it. I think this medicine is flushing out my system a little, you know what I mean? It's accelerating the natural process. No need to go any further, sir. Thanks, Maria. Hey, you got a cold or something? You sound different. Yeah, a cold or... I got something, all right. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. Gotta go, Manelli. Mm. Thanks for your help, Maria. 
Don't think we can use the eye. But maybe if we go back to the locker, maybe we can put this eye to here. No? It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. So how do we get his synthetic eye? Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. So he has a mirror. It's broken. It's broken. It's a loose shard of the mirror glass. Oh. I'll just carefully separate this shard from the mirror. Like so. I'll have to be careful carrying this around. Archives login. F. Minnelli. Password, wife's birthday. What a smart boy. Real security whiz. Wife's birthday. Archives login. F. Minnelli. Password, wife's birthday. It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's empty. Okay. Let's ask him about his wife. How's Mrs. Minnelli doing? Why are you asking? I didn't think it... Hell, Maria, we spoke about this. I told you I... Can't you just let it rest? Uh, sure, sorry. Just... Wondering. I wish you wouldn't, Maria. You know how... It is what it is, you know? About Mrs. Minnelli. God damn it, Maria, I'm on the freaking can, yeah? I was just thinking, maybe I should get her a birthday present. What do you think? Are you nuts? Have you gone completely nuts? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Being nice? Nice! You want Laura to kick me out of my own apartment, is that it? You want my wife to kick me out of the apartment tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Your wife's birthday's tomorrow? You're not buying her a present, Maria. Don't even think about it. That would be such a big mistake. You don't want to make a mistake like that. Okay, boss. You're the boss. Don't call me boss. And would you leave me alone? I'm not in a sociable mood. Hell, I'm on the can. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. Okay. Oh, we also got a shirt. Phew. Jesus, I think I'm allergic to the goddamn medicine. Oh, crap, my eye. Huh? Take it, take it, take it. Hey, leave my eye alone. Uh, grab there this, eh? Back in your slot. No. Wait. Ah, I make I made him sneeze by using this thing. No. Wait. <laughs> yes. Oh crap! My eye. Hey, leave my eye alone. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Wait. So touching the mirror makes him sneeze. And he drops his eye, but I cannot grab it because no. Oh crap! My eye. It's Frank Minnelli's synthetic eye. But I can't grab it. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Hmm. <laughs> oh, crap, my eye. Hey, 
Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Interesting. So I did try to activate. Oh crap, my eye. Hey, leave my eye alone. Hmm. There you are. Back in your slot. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. Interesting. So how do I get his eye? Crap, my eye. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Hmm. Monkey see, monkey do. Well... Not without this, he won't. Oh, crap, my eye. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Crap, my eye. Hey, leave my eye alone. Interesting. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. I don't know why it's not working. Let's go check out the scanner. <laughs> I don't think so. The security feedback will probably fry my eyeballs. So we do need this synthetic eyeball. But if for some reason I cannot just substitute the monkey's eye with oh, this thing. Crap, my eye. There you are. Back in your slot. Hmm. Oh, crap, my eye. I have no idea to be honest. It's Frank Minnelli's synthetic eye. Minnelli's in there. Minnelli's in there. There you are. Back in your slot. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. <laughs> oh, crap, my eye. It's Frank Manelli's synthetic eye. So, how do I? Get the eye back in your slot. <laughs> oh, crap, my eye. Hmm. There you are. 
back in your slot. Interesting. Dude. Oh, crap, my eye. How do I grab it? There you are. Back in your slot. Hmm. His oh, eye. Crap, my eye. His synthetic eye. Um, he, he drops his hen synthetic eye when he sneezes. And I need his synthetic eye, I guess, to are. access the, the terminal. Back in your slot. I do have monkey's eye. And when I try to. Uh, like. <laughs> Like here, I oh, can activate this eye. monkey's eye on the hey, leave my eye alone. The guy's eye, but it, it doesn't let me. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Hmm. I don't know. It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. Like my idea is we substitute the synthetic eye with his own eye. Maybe we Dude. need to somehow distract Manelli's him. In there. Oh, in crap, there. my eye! But yeah, I cannot talk to him when his eye is dropped. Manelli's in there. Doesn't react to the flute. There you are. Back in your slot. I don't know. Dude. Oh crap, my eye. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Hmm. So I need to somehow oh, distract him eye. when his eye is dropped. So then I can substitute it. How do I distract him? Can I talk to yeah, him when are. when the eye is dropped? Oh. It's a light switch. Oh, crap, my eye. Nice. There you are. Back in your slot. <laughs> oh, God, I'm seeing red. I'm having a stroke. Maria, Maria, go get the doctor fast. I'm seeing red. Seeing red. Okay. It's Frank Minnelli's synthetic eye. I'm just, um, borrowing it. He'll get it back. Yeah. Digital history lessons correctly. 
That's what's called a dot matrix printer. They used that in, like, the 18th century or something. Yeah. Computer. Control panel. It's a computer from, like, the Stone Age. I've never seen anything like it outside of a museum. It's a miracle it's still working, let alone in active service. So we use it. Hi, I'm Frank Minnelli. And I feel really guilty doing this. I, uh, love my wife Laura and her birthday is on the 31st of this month, which means... Laura, 0731? Please, 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 please. Yes! I am so good. Again. Now, what to search for? Welcome to the Newport Police Department computerized archives. Uh, all activity is logged and monitored. Your activities may be used against you by the Internal Affairs Office. Use this facility for uh, non-departmental processes. It is strictly illegal. Okay. Um, yeah, let's look for this one. For Warren. Warren Franklin Hughes, uh, like fire lizard, ter ter termina Terminator Boy Zeke, okay, uh, Father Ellis Hughes, wait, Mother, Warren's sister, and that's her colonization Eric, number, okay. I'd better remember it in case I need it, Father and Mother deceased, Warren's sister, and that's her colonization number. I'd better remember it in case I need it. So a colonization number, I guess she remembers it. I'm not gonna write that down. But yeah, looks like his father and mother are dead. More? I think I need to see any more of Warren's rap sheet. He's been kinda active. So wanted for failure to comply with colonization agenda. Wanted in connection with multiple burglaries. Wanted for questioning regarding destruction of public property. Okay, but I guess I needed only the Erica um, information. Okay. Well, let's first use this Erica Warren's entry. Sister. Please, please let there be something. No information available. Okay, but we do have the number. It's the only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck. Okay. We can print that. Address. Have the address. Adopted. By Lieutenant Carol Drake. After death of parents. I see. I'd better get a hard copy of this for Warren. Wait, we have edit, have delete. Uh, Warren asked us asked us to delete some records. So can we do? Let's try I'll edit. Just make a few small changes. Nothing major. Yeah. That's much better. Scary how easy it is to manufacture a saint. Okay, so exam from colonization contact, criminal record void. Okay. Don't think we need to delete this, but okay. So, 
Yeah, let's look at the April's record. I'm just gonna make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. Okay, no information available. Yeah, let's find out about Vanguard. It's a long shot, but... Nothing. Okay. Uh, Church of Voltec. The Church of Voltec is the front of the Vanguard use here in Stark, so there must be at least some information available. Revolutionary Church, uh, registered trademark of the Revolutionary Church holdings, registered as organized religion, religious movement under the menu memorandum. Information protected and classified under regulations, religious secrecy act. Okay. Contact. White Cardinal Jacob McLean. Jacob McAllen. McAllen. White Cardinal? What the hell is that? I should keep that name in mind, though. It could turn out to be important. Okay. Can we Google him? The so called White Cardinal. I wonder who he is. Classified. This request has been locked. User Frank Manelli has violated user privileges. Frank Manelli, please report to supervisor. Continue. Clean Jacob. Code. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Um Wait, what is this one? Is it's this the only the... lead I have, so if this falls apart, okay. I'm out of luck. We've seen that. Yeah, we don't need to delete or print. Okay, that's good. Oh wait, I'm April. Just Ryan. Make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. Did we have the violation appear right now? No. Is that it? I think this is it. We just need to grab the printed paper. Can we delete the record? I think this is what he asked us to do. So I'm curious why do we have this button active then? Should I try? Save game. Whoa! I think I just killed Warren. Oh well, he's just gonna have to uh, live with that. At least the cops and corporates won't be after him anymore. Just the morgue. Well, I guess he's dead now. We can't edit anymore. Well, okay, he's dead now. Whatever. Okay, I guess this is it. Now we need to grab. No, we need to grab the paper. I'll leave it until I've printed out all the information I need. Huh. I missed something, I guess. The Church of Voltec is the front of the Vanguard use here in Stark, so there must be at least some information available. Can't print that. Jacob McGallan.
The so-called White Cardinal. Hmm. I wonder who he is. Was I supposed to print out this page? I don't think I was uh, able I have to no do idea that. what that is. Hmm. I have no idea what that is. I'm just gonna make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. It's the only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck. I did print out this one, if I remember correctly. Actually, I can't do any prints now. So what am I missing? Presses are ah, okay. Now where's the printer? Okay, I needed to print this page. Sure. It's the hard copy of all the information Warren wanted on his sister and himself. Okay. What is the control it's panel? Control panel with a weird keyboard. Oh. Oh no. I need to remember the code. Oh no. No. Please, please don't. Please don't do that to me. <sighs> okay. Jacob McLean McCallan. So called White Cardinal. I wonder who he is. So I need to remember the code. Uh, they look like the characters on that keypad. Ah. Uh, no, I do need to remember it. So it. It's uh, greater than and equal. It's a T. It's uh, the how do I call it in English? Romp or I don't know. And it's the same thing but in three D. So greater than equals a T, the square and three D square. So, uh, greater and equals. IT. Square. And this kind of 3D square. Okay. Well, Vanguard's folder. There's nothing in here. Oh, except for a tiny data cube. Data cube? It's a tiny data cube with a non standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. Can I use it here? No. Hmm. So we need to find where we could read it. Okay. Let me just double check once again. Can't use it anywhere here. Okay. It's a control panel for the archive retrieval unit. It's a control panel for the archive no, retrieval I unit. No, I can't use that. Okay, that's good. Computer printer. Can I try to use the computer and fit in this Q? 
cube. No, no. Okay. I think we are good. It's just I'm not sure if deleting uh, the warrants file was a good idea. We were supposed to delete not his file, but um, his criminal records. But I guess it's, it's fine. If not, we have the save file. Okay, do we need to return the eye? We don't have the eye anymore. I don't think so. The security feedback will probably fry my eye. It's a retinal scanner. Insta we don't have the, the eye anymore. So yeah, I guess now we go away. Considering the fact that I'm inside a police. Okay, let's go. Well, I'm interested in what this guy did. Oh, I can't enter the lockers anymore. Okay, so yeah, I guess there is nothing else for us to do here. That's good. Can't talk to him. <coughs> Can I use the cube on this phone? No, I don't think so. Huh? Screwdriver. It's a screwdriver. The repairman must have left it by accident. <coughs> Come on, just just grab it. Okay. It's a toolbox. Toolbox. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. Okay, <coughs> so I guess we don't need that anymore. So how do we get out? You can usually tell a crook by his I guess this is it. Now I can exit, actually. Okay. So I guess the repairman uh, fixed the door. Okay, can we retrieve this thing? Wait, what did he want? He wanted to get rid of the dust, right? Don't think I have anything for him. But let's try to use the screwdriver on this. No, we can't do that. Huh. It's a magnetized screwdriver. Magnetized screwdriver. Okay. It's a tiny data cube with a non standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. Wait, mirror. Can we put a mirror? Yes. I saw this on an episode of MacGyver 2200. Step away from the fence, ma'am. Right. So we need to get rid of this cop. Doesn't like dust. Don't think I have anything against the dust or for the dust. No surprise, I'm still here. Move along. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <coughs> Damn. Dust. Yeah, what can we do with the dust? Huh. Mission 5. 
Five. What can we do with the dust? We know how to overcome the fence, we just need to find out what to do with this guy. But okay, let's go bring the papers to the kid. Maybe we can find something against the dust or f to generate the dust. T Rex. Hmm. Container. I don't think she's gonna want to do anything with the container. The garbage container. And it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. Yeah. She doesn't want to do anything with the container. Good. Wait. Oh, Metro West. Hope Street. I guess we need to go to the Hope Street to... Wait, this is different. I don't want to know what he's doing. Okay. She's gone. I need to find something to, I guess, generate the dust so the the guard feels even worse. Okay, Warren. Where did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? It wasn't easy, but I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? Sure, right here. Listen, Warren. Your parents. They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a lieutenant with the Wakamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... My parents. You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister, I gotta find her. I'm sure you will, Warren. Hey, wait a minute. You killed me? Thanks a lot. Well, when you're dead, nobody cares. The cops are not gonna be chasing after you for crimes committed by a dead guy. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna have a tough time getting a new ID. You should've just wiped my record clean. I'm not complaining, though. I'm better off now than I was a few hours ago. So what can I do for you now, sister? Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right, you got it. Head on out to the Newport docks, down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, and this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. Tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. Bye, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. Okay. So we delivered the papers, sure. Um, diary. Still Sunday, surprise. Um, I get in, I get out, I get a glorious career in crime ahead of, ahead of me if I want. Um, and it feels so good. My parents would be proud of me. Um, well, Miss Criminal, that's me. Whatever, at least I get the name and the location of Warren's friend, the so-called Burns Flipper. Uh, is that an actual, na actual name? Uh, his shop is down by the Newport docks in an old garage. Knock three times on the door, Warren told me. I'm surprised I don't have to say open sesame as well. Hopefully this guy 
a flipper will be able to help me locate the the vanguard church of Volt Voltec. This afternoon I have to meet up with Cortez again, and I'd prefer to have some solid information uh, to share with him. Okay. Can I ask you a few questions? Anything for my sister. Yeah, we know where where the friends Bye, where the friend lives. That's hey, fine. Keep it cool, sister. Wait, can I use the screwdriver on the elevator? Oh my god, now I would have to try to use the screwdriver everywhere, basically. <laughs> uh, but okay, uh, we have that. And uh, yeah, let's save. So yeah, and uh, we will continue uh, on the next stream, next Friday, I think. Maybe we would actually have another th another stream somewhere in the middle of the week. Uh, but yeah, uh, this this will be it for today. Uh, let's see, can we find someone to raid? I don't believe someone plays this game at the moment. But what do we have in the retro? I don't know. We did raid uh, Banners a few... Uh, like last week, so maybe we can find someone else. Uh, Do we have someone playing some point and click games? Or someone familiar? Mm. Point and click. No, just me. Um, I don't know. Okay, we have a VTuber, so let's raid another VTuber. So yeah, um, today we did a good progress. Uh, we are, I guess, in the middle of chapter three, right? Yeah, chapter three. Uh, and yeah, this game is ad addictive. I really want to continue playing it, but yeah, I really need to go now. Uh, so yeah. Um, tomorrow I will try to do a game dev stream, but I'm not sure if I will be able to do that. Uh, so if no, if not, then I would probably stream on Tuesday next time. And we will continue with uh, the longest journey on Friday, probably. So, yeah, uh, keep in touch, join Discord for new stream notifications and summaries of the previous streams. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.
Don't tell me you're following me. Following you?